Alright, what's up everyone? OJ here. Welcome back to another PE Live. Today we got a good show for you guys. Today we're talking about Super Mario Maker 2. Let's go, shout outs. Hope you guys enjoyed the music. Um, I love Persona music. We had uh, Theme X, then we also had Persona as well. So if you're interested in those soundtracks, make sure you guys check those out. Now once again, this, this live stream, guys, this live stream is not to bash Sony. So we don't need to have Sony bashing here, okay? And it's not to necessarily... Like, I just want to make sure that I put this out there because, like... Um, whenever I discuss things, sometimes if I go back and forth, sometimes people get upset with certain things. So I don't want to make, I want to make sure that I don't make anybody upset, you know, when it comes to certain things, like when it comes to, you know, censorship discussions and all that. So please, uh, don't take it that way. I'm not trying to make anybody upset or anything like that, but I mean, I put out a tweet and I guess there was some issue there. So I apologize for that, but either way. Uh, we're going to talk about Sony censorship, and we're also going to talk about the Super Mario Maker 2 Direct. So we're going to spend most of the time talking about the Direct and what they could be showing off there. I'm actually somewhat, like, I'm actually more excited for Super Mario Maker 2 than I am for, uh, than I was for the original Super Mario Maker. Just because Super Mario Maker 2 has a lot more designs that you can do, right? Like, they have, like, the whole, um, 
like Super Mario 3D World stuff in there, and I love Super Mario 3D World, so that's actually got me more interested in this game than the previous game, where it was just the designs from, like, you know, what was it, just, like, the original, like, Super Mario World and stuff like that, so, um, I, I like it, I like the fact that they're having more designs and they're having more stuff, so, uh, so there you go. Um, all right, so let's see, Ninja News, guys, so Ninja News, we do have a brand new video up on the channel, um, if you did not check it out this morning, I thought it was pretty cool, it was a video on, um, what was it a video? <laughs> I don't remember. Oh yeah, E3, Mama Soft E3, um, and what they could be talking about there. That already has I think over two thousand views. So thank you guys so much for the support. Make sure you guys check out that Mama Soft video um, in terms of if they can reveal a new IP and what I would want in that new IP. So make sure you guys check that out if you have not already done so. Uh, just open up another tab afterwards and check it out on the community page, or sorry, on the home page. Remember, guys, we do have a reorganized. Um, a home page here so if someone new to the channel make sure you're checking out the home page every day youtube sub feeds don't always work well so i want to just make sure that i re-emphasize uh to check out the youtube um check out the main page i know it, you have to click extra buttons and just clicking your sub box but some of you guys have so many subscriptions and sometimes notifications notifications don't work and you might miss a video that you're really interested in hearing about um so i do want to make sure that you guys head over to the regular page and you guys can see all of the latest videos from Player Essence. Usually the ones that I upload at 6 a.m., those ones will all be here pretty much right in order. So you can see pretty much every single thing that we do. If you missed the PE Live and you want to watch any of the PE Lives that we've got, they're all right here. Or any of the newest PE podcasts, they're all organized and set up for you guys. And if you want to watch my I Am Dr. Mario video for the 5 millionth time, you can definitely do that as well here. So uh, so it's all organized nice and neatly for you guys. And we probably will be adding some more tabs later as well. So Or rows later. Um, all right, so back to here. Um, we're going to talk about that in just a bit, um, Henry. Calm down, relax, okay? We'll talk about the Nintendo Direct and what time it is and all of that. Just calm down. Not only that, but it's in the thumbnail of the of the video, too. So, I mean, like, and it's on Twitter. It's everything. So, we're here to talk about the actual, you know, more. So, just relax. Don't worry. We'll get into that, okay? Um, I'm pretty sure most most of you guys know when the time of the Direct is anyway. But we're, it's, it's, it's a two-hour show, okay? So, just relax. We'll get to it. All right? um so let's go and get into shout outs um if you want me to say hi do you feel free to say hi in the chat i'll be more than happy uh to uh say hi back to you okay guys so like i said we'll talk about the direct we'll talk about the times we'll get everything done don't worry just sit back relax enjoy the show guys enjoy the show i'm not gonna take too much longer so just relax okay i'm gonna talk about it enrique okay um all right so shout out to alonzo vines johnny hernandez what's good yeah we're gonna talk about bayonetta next week there's gonna be some information I already know about that, so yeah, we'll talk about. It. But they, they just announced that there's going to be more information. So, t so w when the information comes, we'll talk about it. Um, Suzumia, what's up, man? How's it going? Aron, shout outs. Um, uh, let's see here. Um, Dragon Force, what's up, man? Um, let's see here. Elizabeth, what's good? Lizzie, good to see you here. Uh, KJ, what's up, man? How's it going? David Balfour, what's up? Kaido J, what's good? um lag on your end yeah everything's running good on my end so um refresh the stream if you're having some lag uh grits deno what's good man t pianist what's up watching from work shout outs you got my code done so it's all good though there you go bud senior what's up man um i bought blades of time shaking my head i don't um i don't know why it did, wait hold up i was thinking about checking out that game is the game any good yet bud senior have you played how much have you played is it good uh party man what's good man how's it going bowsette what's up Markel Hawthorne, what's up? Rax the Great, what's good, Rax? Good stream last night. I was uh, I was watching. I'm in the background uh, just because I was editing. So good stuff on Apex Legends, man. Clayton Miller, what's up, man? Um, PB, what's good? Uh, uh, Black Link, what's up, man? How's it going? Daniel Crowder, what's up? How's it going? How's it going? Good to see you guys here. Joshua. Joshua S. is here as well. What's up? Um, Cyber Kitty, what's up? Cyber Kitty and Hayden. What's up, man? Uh, wish you luck for your exams. I have my first few today. I got four weeks uh, of them left. All right, man. Shout outs. Hopefully you uh, do good on those exams. Uh, what's up, Arash? How's it going, man? Good to see you here. Only about an hour. Uh, got a lot of frame dips for some reason. You know what the funny thing is? They said that it was optimized for uh, <laughs> for the Switch. So they're, like, the, it didn't have frame rate drops and stuff like that. That's the funny thing. In the press release. Uh, David Howe, what's up, man? How's it going? Um, how's it going? Um, let's see here. Chubacabra. So that's Elite Ninja El Chubacabra. Yo, what's up, Blanket? How's it going, my man? How's it going? Good to see you here, like always. Thank you for the support. 
um guys thank you for the support all right so make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe if you have not already subscribed if you're somebody kind of lurking we do live streams every single day we do uh video content i do videos and live streams every single day somebody asked me are you doing a, a lot of live lately i do live pretty much every day last week i streamed every day monday through sunday live live stream and i'll do edited content at least monday through friday edited content monday through friday live streams at least monday through saturday sunday i might take sundays off but then again i might not you know what i'm saying so we pretty much have uh, content either live or edited every single day of the week um so that you can find on the channel here um let's see here yeah no devs line or at least the press release line um at least uh gunslinger what's up gunslinger good to see you here man uh, you shouldn't be streaming on Sunday at all. Uh, I mean, I shouldn't, but sometimes I like to stream on Sunday because I'm bored and I got, like, nothing to do. So it's just like, I mean, <laughs> like, I'll sleep, I'll do whatever. I mean, I'll wake up, I'll go to church, and I'll be like, I'll come back home, and I'm like, all right, there's nobody here. There's nothing for me to do. All right, so I might as well just, I guess I can just stream for a bit, right, and see, say hi. I mean, like, it's not like I got anything else to do. I mean, I could just, like, play games all day, but, like, I don't know. I would rather talk to you guys sometimes than play video games, to be honest. Um, but I don't know. That's just me. Although we are going to be playing. I got this installed. Um, I got this installed. So we are going to be playing some Dragon Quest Heroes uh, after the stream. So that should be fun, right? Uh, play Fortnite, bruh. <laughs> nah, I'm done. I'm done with Fortnite, dude. Like I've tried to like that game. I just don't like Fortnite. I don't really like it too much, man. Uh, yo, what's up, J Two Blue? How you How you doing today, my man? um what's up how's it going um all right so barrett going to church <laughs> i know seriously um so yeah run that mk11 man i still need to get into mk11 i still have not played it you know what the problem that i have with mk11 uh bud senior is that it's just too blo it's too like blocky for me like the fighting is too like robotic i think that's the issue that i have even back when i was playing mk9 like a lot i always just felt it was really blocky and robotic and that's the that's the issue that i have with mortal kombat it just feels blocky um i don't know that's just my thoughts um, on it uh yan is what's up you're a first timer shout outs man thank you so much for joining the stream i appreciate it i appreciate it uh thank you man um i man i need to get back into warframe too man dank meme what's good what's good dude uh, I take the load off. I take the load off your shoulders. <laughs> the load off your shoulders. He said uh, you play Smash too much. That's why. Yeah, Smash is so fluid and it moves in a certain way. It's like quick and snappy, and and like Mortal Kombat feels like Rock'em Sock'em robots, man. It just feels it feels so blocky. It's like it's like they can't move. Like there's obviously yeah of course most fighting games have walls that trap you in. You know Smash Brothers doesn't have that. Like it's just like free. It's like free flowing, you know what I'm saying? Like you can go high into the air, you can go below, like you can just move where you want, and then when you go too far, that's when you get blasted off the screen, you know? So I don't know. There's just something about Smash that has that like, you know, um they and even like a game like Pokemon Tournament, right? I like Pokemon Tournament, but Pokemon has like huge areas where, yeah, you can get backed into a wall, you know, but when you get backed into a wall, you don't stay there. You know what I'm saying? Like if you get slammed against the wall, you can freaking tech off of it and literally freaking Samus screw attack to the center of the <laughs> it's the funniest thing put in for noobs man like instead of just getting like bopped in the corner like you can in a lot of fighting games you literally flip off the wall and like flip all the way to the center of the screen and like ta-da <laughs> Like you landed a damn um, acrobatic sweet sequence in the Olympics dude it's, it's, it's amazing <laughs> it's so funny uh, but yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I think that's just one of my issues, man. It's kind of blockyish, but uh, it's all good. I still like it. I, I just need to get into it more. But I mean, I just need to stop complaining, stop crying about it, and just just get into it more. You know, positive waves. What's good? What's the chosen? What's up, man? David N. Yo, shout outs to David N. What's good, man? I see that bad. Did that bad change? Yeah, baby, that badge change. Let's go, David. Thank you so much for the six months of support. Enjoy that true shutting on that you do have, my man. Congratulations on that. Fairy Tiger, what's good? Elite Ninja Fairy Tiger, co-captain of the Viking Nation. What's good, man? Good to see you here. Like always, good to see you here. Um, yo, Ian Morley, what's up, man? How's it going, Ian? Good to see you guys here. Yo, you guys ready to talk about some Super Mario Maker 2? I think so. So let, let's talk about this. Um, Nintendo put out a tweet this morning. Um, looks like they're kind of uh, wrapping things up for uh, for E3, kind of tying up some loose ends 
uh, Solomon Solo, Red Enigma, and Nindy Gamer. What's up, guys? Good to see all of you guys here as well. Um, so Nintendo put out a tweet. We're going to go ahead and uh, head over to this tweet on this reaction here. And uh, tune in Wednesday. Here's the official date and time, guys. And if you live in a different country, you better you better open up Google right now, okay? You, you better just do it on your phone or whatever the case is, or your PC, because I ain't translating a bunch of different times, okay? Use the power of the internet. Tune in on Wednesday, May 15th at 3 p.m. PT slash 6 p.m. ET for a roughly 15-minute presentation packed, packed, I tell you, with information about Super Mario Maker 2 for Nintendo Switch. And so here it is, guys. That is tomorrow, May 15th at 3 p.m. PT. That is 6 p.m. Eastern Time. What is that? 5 p.m. Central so there you go. There you go, guys. That is it. We got a Super Mario Maker 2 Direct going down. So let me ask you guys this question here. Um, I'm a lot more excited about this one than I am, like, than I was with the first one. Then again, I'm not huge on 2D Mario games. You know, I really like the 3D Mario more so than anything. Um, Galaxy, to be in particular, that's my favorite, along with Super Mario Bros. 3. But that, that's like the classic back in the day. So let me ask you guys, what do you guys think that they're going to be showing off with this one here? 15 minutes of Super Mario Maker action here. Um, so what do you guys think they're going to be showing off? Uh, Fairy Texas is hype, uh, hyping for Mario, uh, Mario Maker 2. Yeah, I think Mario Maker 2, I think, is going to be a, a lot more enjoyable game. I think they're going to make a lot of good improvements uh, to the core formula in order for it to be uh, more fun and everything like that. Um, Hi, Max. Anime. Tons of new elements. What elements do you think they're gonna add? Multiplayer, like online multiplayer. Okay, they had they had co-op multiplayer, and or at least this one we know has co-op, right? So you think they're gonna have? I don't know if they're gonna have online. I don't think that's gonna happen, but maybe co-op, local co-op multiplayer. Uh, the website player. Since what about the website? There is a website that they put up, but just like a teaser. What about it? Uh, biggest question is the stylus will, will it come with one? It comes with, if you pre-order it, I know that there's pre-orders that come with the stylus. You might be able to purchase the stylus separately or just use your finger, I guess. Uh, they didn't confirm multiplayer. Um, let's check. I thought they said that there's going to be... Um... Yeah, they have a website. Yeah, the players are to be decided. Okay, yeah, so you're right. So they haven't necessarily confirmed. They haven't confirmed it yet. So it seems like if they don't just put single player, it seems like it's it seems like it's gonna have multi some type of local multiplayer in there because you have Mario and Luigi. So I'm guessing since they put to be decided and it's not just a one player, I'm guess I'm just gonna guess that there's gonna be some multiplayer, some local co-op in there. Um. Let's see. More excited for the God Eater three demo. Yeah, well, we'll talk about God Eater three and all that. We're gonna we're gonna talk about that. Uh, we can talk about it in random Q and A, or um, I have a video that I actually already finished that I finished this morning, and that'll be up tomorrow. That will be up tomorrow morning with new information on Fire Emblem Three Houses. So, yeah, we'll talk about that tomorrow morning. Um, let's see here. Um, I think I think they show online play, new assets from the from their Mario Bros game, including uh, new Game Boy games, Amiibo support. Hmm, that seems like that seems like a lot. Uh, let's see, maybe um, alternating multiplayer, at least competition between people to see how fast you can clear a stage. I think that would be really cool, Dawson. I think that would be, I think that would be dope if they did do something like that. TPN says, I would love to see more, uh, love to see mobile integration, just like the stuff they did with Smash stages and Miis that would work even better with Mario Maker. You know what I'd like to see mobile integration? I'd like to be able to connect your phone and be able to build levels on the go. How dope would that be if there was a Super Mario Maker app? And you can literally make levels and you can distribute them and you can like send them to your like friends or something like that. And you can send it to like uh, your, your system or whatever the case is that I think that would be really cool. Or even like kind of like a dual experience to where you can instead of using the switch, like let's say the switch is docked, right? Well, you can connect your mobile phone and bam, it hooks up and then you can make levels right there instead of having to do it undocked and make levels in portable or have to use the controller. You can just use your mobile phone and make levels right there. I think that would be really dope if they if they actually did that. I'd be completely down for something like that because that'd be make it easy. It's like, oh, I can make levels when I'm not at home. I can make levels right there without undocking my switch. Like it just makes things so much better. Now for me, I'm not gonna be making any levels. To this day, I've never made a level in Super Mario Maker in any of the games, the 3DS game or the Wii U game. Never I've never even went into the 
Like, I might have went into the level creator, but I think that was the, the tutorial that they showed you. But I've never actually attempted to make my own. I have zero levels made on my own, you know, because I don't care. But I mean, like, it would be cool for those who really like creating levels and everything like that. Um... We need a multiplayer challenge mode akin to Ultimate Chicken Horse. I don't know how Ultimate Chicken Horse's multiplayer is, so you're going to have to explain that. Um, let's see. I'm probably going to put over 700 hours into this game. Over 700. Okay, so not as not as much as Smash, but definitely up there in the hours. Or even use one Switch to make a level and another to play them, but there's your, there's your co-op. I mean, that would be cool, too. I mean, I think that would be a way. I think mobile integration would be, like, the easiest way to kind of just get things going. You know what I'm saying? Easy. Um, well, not easy because you still have to code it for that, but it would just be kind of cool, you know. Um, let's see here. Um, <clears throat> mobile would be harder. How would mobile be harder? To, to what? To make levels? Oh snap! Yo, David N. With that almost Toby Buster. Let's go, David N. Showing the support to the Ninja Village. First donation of the stream, and it was a pretty nice one with a $10 donation there. And he says, I've gotten over my cold. I got my Switch back from the from Nintendo Repairs. Six months pledged with Player Essence. And there's my hype for uh, for the Mario Maker 2 Direct. <laughs> Today's a good day. Yo, shout outs. Thank you so much, David. Yeah, absolutely. I'm sorry that you had to uh, take your Switch in for repairs. Was that the one that you won? From when I sent it to you, was it that one that you had to take into, or your other one that you, or, or your your original one? Because um, I'm pretty sure you're the, you're one of the people who won a switch, right? If I'm not correct. Uh, so yeah, man, I'm sorry to hear about that, but you got it back, so that's good. And Super Mario Maker Two is right around the corner, so that's also good as well. So thank you for the, uh, thank you for the donation, man. You guys give some love to uh, David N, Elite Ninja here. He got his brand new badge, so that's always exciting to get your. Brand new six months badge. You're a full. You're a fully fledged, fully fledged Joe Ninja. Fully fledged Elite Ninja with that six month badge, man. There you go. Um, just going to put your uh, name here and with the ten, you are the top stream ninja as well, and also the stream boss too. So thank you for the support, man. Appreciate that. Um, all right, uh, my first switch sent it in as a precaution for some fan noise. Ah, I see, I see. Yeah, good stuff. Okay, okay, makes sense. Makes sense that you did that um how much did they charge you uh shadow king 1980 it's cool for those who um, are into it but i feel nintendo is clearing mario maker 2 from the e3 because they have something huge and unexpected planned for e3 i don't know if it's more like huge and unexpected more so there's a bunch of other games to talk about that nintendo hasn't detailed yet that haven't been like that hasn't had more information than like super mario maker 2 for example so i think that nintendo just has more games to talk about because remember super mario maker 2 is coming out like right after e3 right so like in the next couple weeks after e3 we're going to be getting super mario maker 2 so there's no point in spending a ton of time on that since we're going to be playing that like right there you know um same thing like with fire emblem three houses i think that i mean i wouldn't be shocked if we got more information on fire emblem three houses too before the before the nintendo direct you know or sorry before the e3 because they, we already know a lot about that game we've gotten information it's been known for a while so i think nintendo just has a lot to talk about when it comes to their games that haven't been shut off yet because remember we have no gameplay footage of animal crossing we need kind of more stuff on pokemon we haven't really seen tons of it uh, you know info or anything on pokemon there's still stuff like town there's still games like damon x machina maybe the revised version of that how that's gonna look we still need to see more on astral chain there's just so many games you know that are coming out this year Link's awakening needs to get more information um so i think that's really what it comes down to now of course nintendo's probably gonna have a few surprises you know but i don't think that necessarily this means that oh all of a sudden there's this big unexpected thing that's gonna take up all the time of e3 now that nintendo's doing this super i don't think that i don't think that means that it just means that nintendo has a ton of other stuff to talk about i mean there's gonna be a lot of third party i mean there's still third party announcements to go over there's still a lot of different stuff that nintendo needs to go over so i think it's more to do with that more so than like there's some type of huge unannounced thing out at this point that they're trying to clear off i don't know like i said it, i'm mean, usually what nintendo does at these e3s they don't really have anything that's like huge that takes up all the time right like if you look at their e3s before in the past nintendo said they're focusing on 2019 games right so it's not going to be something that's going to be like so crazy that it's going to take up so much time that we don't know about because nintendo never does that at e3 if they do it's going to be like smash brothers that took up all the time but we already knew about smash brothers we just got the official reveal and the name and everything like that right so i don't think that they're going to really do something like that with something that we don't know about yet 
Um, that's just that's just not their style so far, so far. But that does mean that maybe what this does mean is that there's going to be a lot of other announcements that we don't know about. But I don't know if that means that it's going to take up a bunch of time, like unexpected, like oh my gosh, like you know because of this one thing. So I mean, I wouldn't I wouldn't bank on that. That's all I'm trying to say. Is I wouldn't bank on that being the thing, you know. Um, under warranty, so free would have cost around 110. Otherwise, okay, good stuff, man, good stuff. Um, look, I actually think it's a really good idea to use Mario Maker 2 on the Nintendo Switch app to assist with making levels. You should work for the Nintendo OJ. Uh, <laughs> I think Nintendo's probably thinking about it. I think if, if it's feasible, they probably would do it, right? Because you have to remember Super Mario Maker 2, you know, it was made with the Wii U, or sorry, Super Mario Maker was made with the Wii U in mind where you had a dual screen experience and that's how it worked. And there's also a stylus provided. So I think that Nintendo's probably, I mean, I'm pretty sure they've, they've thought about it. And if they can make it work, they'll do it. But if they can't, then they probably won't. I mean, integrating a full game, like a, like a level creator on a mobile thing, I don't think it's like super hard. But then again, I don't think it's like really easy without the game potentially breaking or having issues in terms of like uh, writing the code and having it talk back and forth with your Switch and all stuff like that. It just, it, it, it just, it in introduces a whole new level of bugs that can be uh, that can be uh, put into a game that, that can give developers headaches. Uh, so, I mean, if they can get it done, though, that'd be nice if they could. That'd be nice if they can get it done. And I'm my, sorry, guys, my screen's shaking my camera. Hold up. Um, all right. So let's see here. Um, the game will push Nintendo Switch online. Like, um, accessing user-created levels online is where the most fun is Mario, in my opinion. Yeah, I think it's definitely going to push it no matter what. Because you're probably going to have to have a Nintendo Switch online membership, right? In order to... I think I think they put that in the small print. Uh, so you're probably going to have to have the membership in order to download levels. Which, yeah. Um, so, yeah. We're not talking about Switch Mini. Um, I love my ducky. We're talking about... Uh, we're talking about Super Mario Maker 2. Um, Nintendo already announced that they're not going to be announcing any new hardware at E3, so, so yeah, um, let's see here, uh, Loki G says, I already read that, great, I already read that too, um, what else did I miss, remember, tag me at player essence or hashtag player essence if you want me to read off your comment, um, let's see, do you think we can get another 3D, uh, 3D style Mario game in Super Mario Maker 2 other than the 3D world? You know, some people have been saying that there might be, but I don't think there's going to be. I don't I don't think there's going to be. Maybe Galaxy gets put in there, but I'm not really sure. Or maybe there's some Odyssey stuff. I would guess maybe the, maybe there are some, some themes from Odyssey, but I don't know if they're going to do like a whole other 3D style outside of like kind of going in with Super Mario 3D world. But you never know. You never know. I, I don't. I, it's hard to predict what Nintendo's going to do sometime. But I, I guess maybe they can take Odyssey style and kind of throw it in there. Um, so let's see. It makes sense. They bundled. Uh, makes sense why they bundled Mario Maker Two with Nintendo Switch Online for the limited edition in the UK. I think it was okay. Okay. Um, let's see. There's no way they're going to do that. Uh, they would have to do an iOS and Android version, and they would have to connect through the servers before it uh, feeds back to your Switch. So I don't know why there's no way that they can do it, though. Nintendo has, like, Super Smash Brothers World, right, where there's some stuff to where it kind of connects. So, I mean, they could do it if they want to. I don't know why you say there's no way that they're going to do it when they've already done some stuff that kind of connects with Splatoon 2 in addition to uh, Super Mario, or sorry, in addition to Super Smash Brothers. So... I don't see how you can say there's no way as if they haven't done some type of similar things like Splatoon 2, the Splatnet. You can get gear and take and send it back to your to your um, to your switch. So I don't, I don't understand that. Um, yeah, like they've never done anything like that before. Like there's that they've never done anything like that before. Yeah, they kind of have with Splatoon 2. Um, let's see here. You can check like data. You can check like rankings and stuff like that. You said, I think the scale is way different. Yeah, the scale, but but you're saying that there's no way, as if they haven't done anything like that at all, which they have. They, you said they'd have to connect with the servers and send it and send it back to your Switch, but they have done that though. There's items that you can literally get exclusively on Splatnet, physical items, and then send that to your Switch. So to sit here and say that, oh well, you couldn't take a level like crudely construct a level and then send that to your switch in some way maybe it's like a light version of it or whatever the case is then maybe finish it on your switch or whatever the case is or maybe even take levels that you've already created and share them other places to say that it's there's no way i don't i disagree i have to disagree with that considering there's already been items that you've been able to collect and from splatnet and send it to there so i mean i want to say there's no way you know i understand your viewpoint David, if they've never done anything like that and there was no items ever being sent or no type of connection to mobile phones at all, like, you know, when it comes to items or what you can do or sharing content, then OK, then I'd agree with you. But the fact that they've done stuff that's in that's in that area that's similar to me says that it could happen. That's all I'm trying to say. Um, 
You said there's you said, I said that there's no way that they're going to, not that it's not possible. Well, we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see. I'm gonna I'm just gonna have to I'm gonna agree to disagree. I think that it's a very I think it that it's very possible and I think that they can do it. I think that they might do that, you know? I'm I'm not gonna say you're gonna say that there's no way that they can do it. Or that there's no way that they're going to do it. But, oh, but by the way, it, I never said it's not possible. Okay, so then it is possible. You just don't, you know, you just personally don't think so. But I think it will. So, I don't. I mean, I would never put anything in like an absolute, like saying like, there's no way that they're going to do that. And then say, oh, well, it's possible. You know what I'm saying? Like, but hey, you can think what you want to think. Um, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, Nintendo made a bunch of cavemen. Uh, they definitely could figure out a way if they want to. Like I said, it doesn't mean like it's going to be a full on the game. I said it can be like a light version, right? Where you can at least even share content, right? I don't see why that's going to be like an issue, you know, like where to at least you can even share content, you know? Um, not in terms of like doing everything. I don't know. Like I said, that'd be tough. You know, I don't think that'd be an easy thing to do. But at the same time, like, I don't think it's I don't think that it's it's so far out of the realm that it's no way that they're going to do it. That's all I'm trying to say. Um, so, yeah, that, that's it. But we'll have to wait and see. We'll see what they announce tomorrow. They got a 15 minute presentation. So I'm guessing that there's going to be something with the mobile app. I'm guessing there's going to be some way to share content or something because they they literally got nothing on here. I mean, do I even have that? I don't know if I even have the app anymore. I thought I redownloaded it, but I guess I didn't. No, you know, I didn't even redownload it. <laughs> I thought I was going to redownload it for the Super Smash Brothers thing, but I never I never did. <laughs> I never downloaded it, dude. Um, but anyway, we'll we'll see, David. We'll see, David. Um, you might be right. You know, um, on top of that, you might be right about it. You know, I might be wrong. So we'll have to wait and see, man. Yo, what's up, Frank Rodriguez? How's it going, my boy? Good to see you here. Elite Ninja Frank Rodriguez is here. Um, yeah, two switches is obviously something, but at the same time, not everybody got two switches. You know what I'm saying? Like, not everybody got two switches. And Nintendo already is pushing this Nintendo Switch Online app thing. That's another way to kind of push people with the Nintendo Switch Online app and everything like that. So, I mean, that's we're just kind of putting two, two, two and two together. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I got two switches, but a lot of you guys don't got two switches. But pretty much everybody got a got a, a freaking smartphone or a tablet, you know. So um, it doesn't mean it doesn't mean it's not an either or. It's like it's like a, an addition. They could do two switches, and you could do some stuff too local. It also means you can do a mobile phone and be able to share content and do other stuff like that. But Nintendo hasn't done anything yet with two switches, like to be able to use in conjunction outside. Of, I think Mario Party. That was the only game, or that's the only game that I think I know know about that they like, where it's like asynchronous. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like right there, not like two people are playing multiplayer against each other, but as in like one switch aids the other switch in playing a game, almost like a dual screen experience, right? Mario Party does that, but I don't know of any other game that does that outside of Mario Party. So, um, so yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Um. Let's see, the one thing um, I want in so much of Mario Maker 2 is bosses and uh, boss battles. Can't you, like, put those in? Uh, you're not very late, Frank. We just started up less than 40 minutes ago. Um, I, can't you, like, put in boss battles, like, with Bowser and stuff in Super Mario Maker? Um, since you have two of them, how easy it was to transfer your save files and content? It was, it's fairly easy. It takes a little bit of time, but it, it was fairly easy. You just go to the save data transfer thing on the menu, then just transfer it over, and bam, it's done. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> uh, so Kira, what, what type of boss battles are you talking about? I think mobile integration is very likely some type of mobile integration. Yeah. Maybe it's not the mobile integration that I'm talking about, but I think that there's going to be some type of mobile integration, but we'll have to wait and see, you know, we'll have to wait and see, um, what they, uh, what they decide to do. Uh, there is the website um, that's already up. So, I mean, I guess we can take a look at that, too, if you guys want. Um, let's check it out. Um, so, here's the website, the official uh, teaser website, I guess. Uh, you have the pre-order stuff. The full site's coming on June 28th, I guess, so when it launches. Um, you have, like, the video, play, create anywhere. Yeah, like, this is where I saw, like, the to be decided, release date June. But we already know the actual release date of the game. So, there you go. Um, and yeah, just the screenshots. Let's see the super. They have the Super Mario 3D World stuff, so they have like Super Mario World. This is like New Super Mario Bros. Yeah, New Super Mario Bros. Um, original Mario Bros. New Super Super Mario 3D World. 
probably coming up. Yeah, Super Mario 3D World style. So there you go. Okay, I, that, that's what I'm. That's that's what I'm looking for. I, I like I like this stuff. I like all this stuff right here. You know what I'm saying? So you guys got to send me Super Mario 3D World like cat level suits. That's that's what I want. <laughs> nah, y'all can send me whatever. Uh, whatever you guys. Whoever who, who's actually really good at building stuff. Is there anybody here that was like that got like a lot of like likes and like shares and stuff on their on their uh, video on their uh, on their content for Super Mario Maker One? Uh, look, he says, don't quote me, but I um, but I thought I heard that Nintendo Switch Online is not required to fully use Mario Maker 2. What do you mean by fully use Mario Maker 2? Um, what do you mean by that? You mean like the, to actually download levels and all that? Uh, let me, let me, let me watch the trailer again. Hold up. I thought it set it across the bottom. System sold. Okay, let's redefine the small print. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, my bad. I don't think they put it in here. Never mind. I thought it. I thought it popped at the beginning, but that it just, they just talked about the stuff being sold separately. Yo, what's up, Pizza? Okay, yeah, they didn't. They didn't put it in here yet. But I don't see anywhere where Nintendo said Nintendo Switch Online isn't like needed or whatever. So I wouldn't bank on that yet. It doesn't say it in the trailer. Did it say it in the original one? I don't think so. We'll have to wait and see. I don't know. I'm, something tells me that Nintendo's going to make you have the Nintendo Switch Online in order to download levels and all that. I think. I think Nintendo would. That's my. That's what I think. Uh, Koopalings, Bowser Jr., and other 2D Mario bosses. I would like to see uh, that. You need to beat... And finish finish the course, okay, cool, cool. Going to work, OJ. But you gonna to stream tonight? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a stream tonight. I already got I got my video tomorrow morning done, so I'm a stream and stay up late and potty potty. I'm pottying tonight. Play some Dragon Quest Heroes. Play some Super Smash Brothers or Mario Kart or something. Arms. I don't, we'll probably play some Arms. I gotta download. I gotta download the updates for that though. I haven't played it in a while, so we'll probably play something a little bit different. Um, so yeah, should be fun. I'm gonna stream though. Yeah, I'm gonna be streaming. I'm gonna stream. Oh, uh, here's what the, here's the deal. Here's what the deal is, guys. I'm gonna stream. Um, I'm gonna stream like probably like some Dragon Quest, and then I'm gonna stream maybe some like Arms, and then we're gonna take a little bit of a break. Um, or I'm gonna stream Dragon Quest, and then I'm gonna take a little bit of a break, and then I'm gonna stream again tonight for the PE Nightcap, and then we'll, we might stream after that. So hopefully it doesn't look all blurry and pixelated. Hopefully I fixed it. Let's see here. Do you need Nintendo Switch Online to access shared content in Smash? Uh, yeah, yeah, you do. From what I understand, you do. Partying with the party man tonight? Sounds good. Yeah, man. How arm, how arms play? Uh, that's a random question. Hold on to random questions towards the end. If you don't know how arms plays at this point, that game is more than two years old. So, or it's going to be two years old at this point. So you can, you can uh, open up another tab or you can, uh, you can, uh, look, watch some gameplay videos and stuff like that. If you want to know how arms plays, but I'm not, I mean, that game's two years old now, man. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and let's move on to the next topic, shall we, guys? Or, oh, actually, do you guys have anything else when it comes to Super Mario Maker 2? Any other thoughts, comments, questions, concerns? Give me your thoughts in the comment section below. Tag me at PlayerSense or hashtag PlayerSense, and I'll be more than happy to answer questions and all that. Um, all right, Arash, you already told me that. You, you already told me that. I got you, man. Uh, I got you. Um, all right, Model Z says, I made a few stages that got at least 100 years got a hundred years what does a hundred years mean in there i don't i don't know what that means um let's see here mario jump how mario jump <laughs> yeah how mario jump let's see i just spent 60 dollars building a dinosaur dinosaur day okay hold on we talk about something else um i can see mario maker 2 being one of the best-selling switch games this year oh it's gonna easily be one of the best-selling switch games this year 
I'm gonna put it like at a. I'm gonna put it at 10 million. You know, I think it's gonna sell at least 10 million um, on the Switch. I mean, Super Mario Odyssey. What is that at? That's like at 14 million or something like that. Like or very high. So 13 million, 14 million. So the fact that I think Super Mario Maker can easily sell that. I mean, like New Super Mario Bros. sold like 4 million. You know, like three, three to 4 million in like a couple months. So I think a brand new Mario Maker 2D Mario is gonna definitely, definitely gonna outsell that easily, like two to three times more than that. So, yeah, ten million free for Mario. Yeah, ten million free for Mario Maker. Absolutely, absolutely. Will you be streaming the direct for us tomorrow? Of course. Yeah, yeah, I'll be streaming the direct. I gotta go somewhere by like five around five, but this this presentation is only fifteen minutes long. So I'll be more than happy. But I, so I can't stream after, like after the presentation, I can't stream any games or anything. But I can stream. Uh, but I can stream before. I can stream. I can stream all the way before up until it. But I can't stream anything after because I have to go somewhere. Um, let's see here. Especially with the sheer number of switches, uh, switches sold, I'm pretty sure that every person that owns a switch will buy Mario Maker too. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. About, <laughs> I don't know about everybody, but yeah, I know you're exi you're just p poking around, having a little bit of fun. But yeah, man, uh, definitely, absolutely, it's gonna be pretty interesting to see kind of where the game does. Um, but yeah, there's gonna be a lot of people that buy the switch. I think there's gonna be a lot of people that buy a switch. For Mario Maker. I think Mario Maker is going to actually move systems quite a bit, man. Um, let's see. Some dude says, I'm honestly curious if they'll uh, continue to the whole Amiibo thing from the first Mario Maker. Maybe they'll add um, enemies from different Nintendo games like Metroid or Pikmin. Mm, that'd be interesting. I actually like that if they added some different types of enemies, kind of variety in there. Uh, TPN says, what do you think about the offline play for Super Mario Maker? Hard to integrate Switch mobile aspect with internet speed, internet based gameplay maybe download levels i don't know tpns what are you what are you talking about um the game will sell 10 million because um i will buy all 10 million copies is that that's how smash brothers sold 13 million is because i bought 13 million copies of smash brothers and gave all of you guys copies <laughs> oh my gosh dude <laughs> that's funny um Let's see, Gunslinger says they'll probably announce a Mario Maker 2 Switch bundle with the custom dock and Joy-Cons. You know what? A lot of people have been talking about like a Mario Maker 2 type of bundle or, you know, things like that, you know? Um, so, yeah, I think I think that's definitely very possible that there's some type of like Mario Maker 2, um, Mario Maker 2 uh, bundle <laughs> or something like that. Uh, shout outs to Jess, Jessiel um, Avila uh, with the subscription. Thank you so much. Appreciate that, Jessiel. Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, thank you for the subscription, homie. All right, Frank. Um, come back whenever you can. Got to go to a meeting. Forgot to put you. <laughs> Hope you'll be back, back in an hour, hopefully. All right, shout outs, Frank. We'll see you back in a bit, my man. Uh, let's see here. Local G says, we might not get totals on Mario Maker 2 because there might be a digital preferred title because you can jump into a quick level and jump out digital. Well, Nintendo gives us the sales numbers for digital and physical, uh, Loki. Um, like all the sales numbers that we're talking about, like when it comes to Super Smash Brothers, how that sold like 13 point whatever million. All the sales numbers that we get from Nintendo are digital and physical combined. Nintendo gives us those numbers after like quarterly results. So uh, all of those numbers do have digital combined. So we, we will get numbers because Nintendo will give us the numbers. Uh, and, it's, and it's physical and digital combined. Um, let's see here. Uh, we even got number we got numbers for like split like Mario Maker on the Wii U and all that. We got physical and digital numbers for Mario Maker on the Wii U, like lifetime to date sales. Nintendo's revealed those as well. Um, Dash is gonna play Super Mario Maker 2, like nobody's business. Yeah, he really likes it, doesn't he? He's not my style. He he be screaming too much in his videos and stuff, but I mean like it just seems forced. But yeah, I mean I know I've watched some of his videos. He's definitely gonna be he's definitely gonna be going crazy in those videos, you know. Uh T Pianis says the game is based on uploading and downloading levels. Uh, you can't do that uh, when you're on the go, which is the point of the switch. Well the thing about it is that Super Mario Maker, you know, uh is on the 3DS and you can uh, download the levels before you go, then you can head out and play those levels when you're out. So, I mean, um, you don't have to necessarily download levels on the go. And there, there's going to be pre-installed levels as well in Super Mario Maker. So it's not like, oh, well, I don't have an internet connection or whatever, so I'm screwed. I can't play the game. Well, there's going to there's gonna be levels already on there for you. And you can simply take precautions and download whatever levels you want, do whatever you need to do, then take it on the go. I mean, you know, so there's also that as well. Um, 
Yo, what's up, Pearl Jake, and how's it going, my man? Um, let's see here. Uh, Kieran Buck, if there was a Switch Mini, this would be a perfect game to bundle it with out of the gate. Yeah, I think didn't Nintendo do some bundles with, uh, with uh, what's it called? With um, uh, Super Mario Maker on the 3DS? Wasn't there some bundles with that? <clears throat> Xavier uh, Ramirez says, I didn't play the first Mario Maker, but I'm hyped for this one. Okay, cool. So this is going to be a pretty much a new experience for you. So that's good. That's good. Lonzo Vine says, uh, let's see here, uh, you can still make levels and play them on the go. Yeah, that's true. You can still make the levels and play them on the go as well. I mean, although if you're on the go, you probably don't have the time to make levels. But then again, some people might exclusively use the time when they're on the go to uh, make levels. Well, if they're waiting at the DMV or whatever the case is, if you're waiting doctor's office, okay, well, let me go ahead and let me get started on a level real quick, you know? So that could be it. Um... I was, yeah, I was thinking about um, NPD numbers on weekly, uh, on weekly, but yeah, we got to wait for quarters. Well, yeah, there's no point in, in getting MP. I mean, NPD numbers is one thing, but we never really get the NPD numbers. All we get is a position chart. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I mean, it won't give us the, but they, they clearly put that in the NPD numbers. They put asterisks by them and say, doesn't include digital, you know, but Nintendo usually always has games that are charting pretty good. But yeah, I mean, I mean, I don't really take the MPD. That's not the be-all, end-all. So, I mean, I'm not really worried if, I mean, if it's lower or whatever the case is based off of MPD. That's only one reason. That's just the U.S. We still got Europe. We still got Japan. There's still the rest of the world. And then, of course, there's digital as well. And they don't count that. So, yeah, it's not a big, it's not a big deal. I mean, it, when it comes to MPD, I mean, whatever gets MPD, great. That's cool. But, I mean, yeah, I'm not really worried about that. It's more about Nintendo's quarterly numbers. That, that's what really matters at the end of the day. MPD is just MPD. And, oh, it's like, okay, cool. This did good in the MPD. Okay. You know, that that's great, you know. But at the end of the day, especially with Nintendo, when it comes to video game software sales, notice how I don't really emphasize that. But we always get leaked numbers for system sales, which is the actual system sales, which Nintendo and all of them use. And when it comes to things, when it comes to how much they sold in the US, Nintendo uses MPD as well. And so does Microsoft and Sony. So I'm, I'm always talking about that a little bit more than I am talking about software charts. There's actually been some times where I don't even talk about the software charts at all. Whenever I talk about MPD, go back and look at some of my videos. I don't even talk about software charts. Like I'll just talk about what we have for the leaked numbers. I mean, sometimes I might mention it, but it's it doesn't count. A lot of stuff's not counted digital, you know? So it's just... I mean, position charts are great, but without any actual digital number or without the actual numbers, it's not really as significant as as the numbers that we get for the like the leaked hardware. So, so yeah. Um, let's see here. Uh, forget the pro. I'm ashamed. The breath. Uh, I wasn't familiar with how the 3DS one operated, which is funny because I actually own it. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, the thing about it though is like that's how the, the the Wii U one operates as well. Like you can take it and make well. Actually, no, that's not how it operates because obviously you can't take the Wii U on the go. Never mind. Sorry, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that way. What I meant was that um, like even offline, you can still make levels and all that on the Wii U. And then the 3DS one, yeah, like you can still... The 3DS one, I don't think you can even share levels, right? There's some type of issue like where you can't even share levels online or something like that. It doesn't have as much functionality as the Wii U one. I know the 3DS one is definitely missing some functionalities when it comes to online stuff. So... From what I understand, you can't even share levels online or something like that. So the 3DS one's kind of handicapped, you know? Uh, Model Z says, uh, the Switch is portable and no internet. Argument is silly. Um, it only used to download levels. One of the few games where your phone hotspot will work fine and acceptable. That's true. If you have a hotspot or if you have like a, you can tether it to your, you know, your computer or whatever the case is, you can definitely do that, you know? You can definitely do that. Um... So, yeah, absolutely. Um, all right. So, anything else on Super Mario Maker 2, guys? Otherwise, I think we can move on to the next topic here. Uh, will you be live streaming in reaction to Mario Maker 2 Direct? Yeah, I already, Karen Buckley, you've been in here from the beginning. I did say that I'll be streaming the Direct tomorrow. Yeah, I did I did already confirm that. Uh, Shadow, uh, Shadow King 92 says, I've never really got into Mario Maker at all. I never understood the fascination with making Mario, especially considering the insanity people create. I don't see the point. Well, I don't know why you don't see the point. You just literally explained the point within your comment right there. I don't, um, I don't, I never understood the fascination with making Mario, especially considering the insanity, the insanity people create. That's your explanation right there. Some people think Mario games are too easy. People create insane, difficult truly creative levels and that's the infatuation right there so you answered your own question right there the insanity people create people want that insanity people want those crazy mario levels a lot of people really like that about it to where you can kind of create anything that you want in this mario universe considering a lot of people think that the that the, the regular based new super mario bros games are too easy or 2d mario games are too easy you know so that's the whole point right there 
Um, I'm hoping for uh, Paper Mario skin tomorrow. Ooh, okay. Um, I don't know if they're going to do that, but that'd be nice. Another cool thing would be the district if the E3 won't be focused on Mario Maker. Well, I don't think the E3 was ever going to be focused on Mario Maker. I don't, I don't really think that was ever going to be the focus in the first place. Like, a lot of people are just trying to compare it to, oh, well, 20, 2018, there was Super Smash Brothers, but what about, what about 2017? You know what I'm saying? Like, what about 2017? So I don't think that was ever going to be the case since Nintendo has a ton of different games anyway. Just Smash Brothers is big. People don't understand, like, while Super Mario Maker is big and that game's going to do well, Smash Brothers is Smash Brothers. That's the reason why they spent so much time on it, because Smash Brothers literally has its own, like, dedicated subsect of Nintendo fans that literally don't play anything else but play Smash Brothers. Like, they literally like, just play Smash Brothers and that's it. They don't even like them. Like, there, dude, there were people that freaking played Smash Brothers that bought the game and didn't have a Wii U that were competitive Smash Brothers players. So, like, that's the whole thing, guys. Smash Brothers is just a different case. So that's not going to be the norm. Nintendo never said that was going to be the norm. So I don't think they were ever going to just, like, focus a lot or do whatever, you know, it was when it comes to Smash... Or when it comes... Sorry, when it comes to Mario Maker. I don't think that was ever going to be the case. That doesn't mean they're going to, you know, uh, do that every single year, you know? Um, yo, what's up, Robert? Shout out to the Ninja Robert, co-captain of the Viking Nation. Yo, Frank, the meeting got canceled. Let's go. Johnny on the spot. Let's go. Don't you love that? It's like when you walk to class, when you walk to class and the class and the class gets canceled and you're like, let's go, baby. Let's go. Class is canceled. Yeah, man. Gotta love those meetings being canceled, dude. Gotta love that. Shout outs. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, having the ability to create levels. Yeah, that's always a really cool thing. Exactly. Um, KJ2399 says, do you think uh, they won't show Mario Maker at E3 because they're going to in-depth at this direct? I think that if they do show anything at E3, it just might be like a brand new trailer. But yeah, I don't think they're really going to show much. I mean, I think that's really just going to show like it's it's a you know coming soon type of trailer. But I don't think it's going to show much. Or it's like B-roll footage. I think you guys remember last year what they did with the B-roll footage of different games? Like, I think it might be in the B-roll footage, so. Um, ABC1, ABC1A with the with the, uh, with the the Twitch follow. Thank you so much, man. Welcome to the Fire Nation. I appreciate that follow. Thank you so much. Um, let's see here. Model Z says, all their Switch um, era 3, uh, E3s had major focus on one game each year. Breath of the Wall for 2016. Mario Odyssey for 2017 and Smash for 2018. Well, no, Mario Odyssey, there was actually multiple games in 2017. It wasn't just focused on Mario Odyssey. There was actually Xenoblade. They each got a spotlight. So it wasn't just one major focus. Xenoblade Chronicles 2 also got a major focus as well. I think Pokemon also got a major focus um, as well in 2017. It wasn't just Mario Odyssey. So that's not necessarily true. Now, in Breath of the Wild in 2016, that was because Nintendo was moving over. So obviously that's very different. They didn't have any Wii U games to show. So that's a very different, uh, very different thing. But 2017 actually had multiple spotlights when it comes to various different games. And 2016 was a very unique case because obviously they were moving over to, you know, the Switch and they didn't really have anything. All they had was Breath of the Wild, to be honest, man. So they just decided to just talk about Breath of the Wild. But I mean, that's a completely different thing because there was no other game at all in 2016. That's all they had was Breath of the Wild. So that's a completely different, you know, completely different thing there because there was zero other games, you know. Um... So yeah, Skip It Production says, um, I understand Sony focus on what, uh, but I don't understand how, they okay, we're, we're going to get into that in just a bit. Uh, that's how I feel when my classes get canceled. Yeah, man, you got to love when those classes get canceled. Go back home, play some, for me, it was always like, oh, I'm going home, playing some Resident Evil. Man, I used to get so happy when class got canceled because I can play Resident Evil 5 that I got used to it and I just decided, screw it, I'm just going to just change my major because of Resident Evil 5. Yo, shout out to Tauntaun Ta 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 Gahu. With the, uh, with the uh, shout outs from Denmark. Yo, shout outs, man. Thank you so much for the support, international support, man. I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, do you think that they will share something Mario, Mario Maker related at, for Smash at the end of the direct? Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't think so, but we're going to have to wait and see, man. Um, we're going to have to wait and see. Um, all right. So I think that's pretty much it. Uh, let's see. I feel like 2019 is the year of Astral Chain as Nintendo's big, big focus title. Nah, Model Z, I don't think so either. Once again, I don't think there's going to be like a one big focus title. I don't think that's going to happen. I think they're going to focus on multiple titles <laughs> because the problem with that is that Astral Chain's coming out in August. If that was their big focus title, then why is it coming out in November? You know what I'm saying? Like, even if you wanted to relate, like Super Mario Odyssey was their big focus title. Well, that came out in the end of the year. That didn't come out in August or whatever the case is. Uh, or even like Legend of Zelda, that was their flagship title for the launch of the, the freaking Switch. 
you know, um, Smash Brothers was a, if you want to say they focused on that too, Smash Brothers was a holiday title. So if Astral Chain is their big focus title, then why is it coming out in August? That that's not that's not what you do with a big focus title. You don't you don't put it out in August. You know you put it out in the holiday. I think the big focus title is going to be Pokemon. It's going to be Animal Crossing. Those are going to be the two big titles. And even like Link's Awakening, you know the remake. I think those are going to be the big titles that Nintendo's really focused on. Since those are going to be positioned probably at the end of the year. I don't I don't think Astral Chain is going to be the big focus now. Is it super important? Absolutely. Is Nintendo going to focus on it? Absolutely. Is it going to be a game that's going to get a lot of publicity and people are going to buy it and have fun? Yes. But I don't think it's their big focus title for 2019. Otherwise, it wouldn't be in the spot that it's in it's one of their big titles and it's a very important game don't get me wrong i've talked about how important it is but i don't see how i don't see how you can come to the conclusion of that when pokemon and animal crossing are coming out this year how, how is that even how do, how do you come to the conclusion of that um let's see frank rodriguez says uh, do you think they will share something like oh i already read that uh dang oj we just picked in paper mario color splash like that come on be paper mario color splash is not very good i'm sorry but it's not very good um Let's see here. Um, I, I understand Sony will... Okay, I already read that. All right, so I think we should move on to the next... We should move on to the next topic here, guys, all right? Um, we should move on to the next topic. Uh, so, Sony has censored... Has censored something, which kind of, like I said, caused a little bit of a... Uh, a little bit of an issue here on Twitter um, for me. So, going forward in the future, I think next time I'll probably just put out my tweet and then just like kind of talk about it more on PE Live so I can kind of convey what I'm thinking um over live stream so you guys can see my face so it doesn't really make anybody upset because i think i made some people upset that that i don't want to make upset so i want to make sure that um, i'm not trying to you know uh crap on anybody's opinions on this but i'll be honest here guys sony censorship has gone too far um in my opinion sony censorship has gone too far this is absolutely ridiculous and we're gonna we're gonna check it out right here um there's nothing on there's nothing on scale bound dude um let's see here so um so basically, this is the Labyrinth game or whatever, Omega, that's coming out for the Switch and the PS4 in a bit, right? So this is the game. Um, it's launching in August. It's launching August 1st, right? So this is the PS4 title or the PS4 logo. And this is the, um, this is the Switch logo. And I said this is absolutely ridiculous that they would censor a logo like this. They would censor a logo. Now, I guess the game is called like um, like Omega Labyrinth or whatever, like the Omega Greek symbol. So that's the Greek symbol here as well. And it's also part of her design. But obviously there are people that get really sensitive or some people that get really sensitive about these type of things and say, oh, well, you're sexualizing, you're emphasizing her boobs or whatever the case is or anything like that. I've seen her outfit. Like I said, it is part of the design of the outfit, I think. But yeah, you can definitely look at it that way. But it is the Greek symbol for Omega. So that's just one thing to put. And that is in the title of the game. But... Um, the fact that Sony's going to sit here and censor this, you know, out of a, a, a logo, like the fact that they that they literally have to take off this, I feel is absolutely ridiculous. Considering this is the same company, this is the same company who thinks it's okay, who thinks it's okay to show somebody getting their arm hammered off in primetime E3 coverage. But a logo that is not even that bad at the end of the day. It's not even that bad. It's literally the Omega logo for from the game, you know, is just absolutely ridiculous, you know, um, and I just feel that stuff like this shouldn't be censored. Like, I just don't feel that this is the type of stuff like you shouldn't say, oh, we're going to sit here and you make them remove the whole logo. You know, like you just make them remove it. It seems like they made them remove the whole thing because like maybe you remove the Omega symbol, you know, and you put it somewhere else. But the fact that they have to remove the whole logo from there, I mean, the whole artwork from there, to me, is just a little too much. Like, I feel like they just went a little too far, like, in the censorship. Like I said, the, here's the main issue that I have. And I'll get to you guys' comments and everything. Here's the main issue that I have. People don't bat, Westerners do not bat an eye at violence in logos or violence. But the minute there is anything even somewhat sexually suggestive, all of a sudden, there's there's a problem there's certain western like in japan nobody thinks this is a problem i guarantee you not a single person would think that and this is tame this is tame compared to other stuff like gal gun 2 you know and things like that this is tame there's not a single person in japan that thinks that this is a problem you know and i've talked about this you know like b before um you know when it comes to like what westerners think about sexual themes compared to 
what Japan thinks and what Japan thinks about extreme violence compared to what Westerners think. Like here in the West, it's like, oh no, how dare them do this? This is this is not a good thing, you know, um, with this logo. How dare them put this and emphasize, oh, some a chest. Oh, but by the way, we can have logos. Let's see. But by the way, we can have logos like this and nobody will care. We can have logos like this where it's a freaking chainsaw. Okay? It's a chainsaw literally emulating cutting through someone with blood spattered across the whole side of it here. And nobody's going to sit here and have a problem with this at all. This isn't going to get censored by anybody. There's not a single... Sony, if Mad World came to the PS4, I guarantee you this logo would not be censored. I guarantee you this logo would not be censored. But this is okay. Because we've had other logos with, with like, for example, Borderlands has the dude freaking mimicking, blowing out his own brains. That's okay. We've had logos with guns, with swords with weapons in there um yeah the gears of war logo it's well so well microsoft isn't the one censoring stuff but we've had stuff with with, with skulls in the logo a death skull of, of a human head in the logo that hasn't been censored we've had all sorts of stuff okay and the fact that this is okay you know this wouldn't be censored anywhere this is fine and nobody bats an eye at this at all but you know this is not okay this is not acceptable that's the that's the main issue that I have. That that that's the biggest issue that I have. This is okay, but this is not okay for Sony because you know Sony wouldn't censor this. You know good and well Sony would not censor this because there's been weapons and there's been other types of blood and logos and I don't think Sony would ever Sony does not have a problem with violence, but they have a problem with anything that's mildly suggestive in terms of sexual themes. You know, th that's the issue that I have, man. Like I just don't understand why it needs to be censored. I don't see why the Left 4 Dead logo would be a better example. How would it be a better example? This is probably, like, Left 4 Dead, it's, it's an okay example, but I don't know if it's a better example. We can look at Left 4 Dead. Left, but Left 4 Dead. But that was old school Sony, I guess. Left 4 Dead logo. Okay, yeah, that, that's a, that's another example. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, like, I don't know if it's, if it's look, it's a chainsaw emulating and blood spatter, okay? This is, a, this is obviously a, a good example, you know, too. I mean, but if you just had this, this is not this hand isn't part of the logo. That's that's just the box art. This is the logo itself. So yeah, that's blood spatter. That's blood spatter and then left for dead. I guess that would be something. But I mean, I don't know. If, I mean, personally for me, in terms of like violence, I'm not talking about the cover. So let's not talk about the the, the finger ripped off. We're talking about just the logo itself. And the logo itself, this is a chainsaw with violent blood spatter all across the side of it. I think that's worse personally. Um, I'm not talking about the actual artwork associated with it, but I know what you're trying to say. Like you're talking about like the, the actual artwork of the game of like the left for dead and his fingers blown off or whatever the case is or cut off or whatever it, compared to the girl, right? Compared to this right here, right? Compared to, um, compared to this, but you have to remember that the, 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 um, the hand is not part of the left for dead, uh, logo itself. That's the box art. From what I understand, um, that's not part of the logo. But there is blood dripping. But I don't know, man. This this seems to me like in terms of because like this girl is part of the logo. So like when you download the PNG file or whatever the case is, this girl is on here like that, you know. Whereas the Left for Dead, I don't think the, the the fingers aren't on there. So I'm just simply talking not box art. I'm just simply talking about the logo itself, not necessarily the whole box art. But I mean, I think you, you have a point though. You have it. You absolutely. I'm not gonna say in discredit and say that you don't have a point. That yeah, like that box art would probably be fine with Sony. It's fine. But if this box art maybe had her with the same type of design and the emphasis on the Omega right there, then oh no, we can't have that box art. You know. So yeah, I think that that's the case too. But I mean, let me let me see here. Um, let me see what you guys have to say here. I mean, that's my only that's my only issue, man. Like I'm 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 just I'm tired of this Western thought process to where. This is bad. This is not classy. This is not good. This is this is horrible, you know. But oh, by the way, that's okay. V extreme violence is okay, but this is horrible. This is so bad. The anatomy of a woman is just so bad, you know. Like it's just so bad. Like normal anatomy of a woman, a woman is just bad. 
Why? You see women every single day. You know what I'm saying? You see mild sexual themes nearly every single day. You see women in the summer in bikinis every single day. Like it's, or most of the time, if you live in certain areas, it's like, it's not that big of a deal. Like it really isn't, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I wish that we would just get as a Western society, I wish that we would just get over that type of thing you know like it's really not it's really not that big of a deal it's not there's nothing wrong with it at all you know in my opinion at least i just i just and if you're gonna censor stuff like this then why don't you censor violence that's my issue it's like okay well who says that this is worse than violence in logos and things like that you know what i'm saying like or, or just violence in general why don't you just censor violence while you're at it you know i don't know man um the problem I have with Sony censorship is that there are no clear uh, defined policies on what is acceptable and what is not. Also, if sexual content is not okay, neither should violence. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. So neither neither should any logo that protect that if you have like for example, heck, I have this game right here. Look, this is a sword on here, man. You got a sword? What's the sword for? You got people that are stabbing people and all sorts of stuff like that, you know? So a sword that's violent in the logo. The blade, the two mim mimic blades. So should this be censored too because a sword is a tool of violence? You know what I'm saying? Like, like there's a lot of violent things and in, in lots of stuff. So I don't understand. Like, I, I don't understand this thought process, man. Um, violence is good, but, uh, but pretty ladies are bad. Left for dead. Okay, I already read that. Uh, that's the current time we live in. Violence is is not so bad versus uh, versus sex. Yeah, ex exactly, man. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, women wearing short uh, shorts that show at least a bit of. Wait, what are you talking about, Reddit? What? <laughs> Um, let's see here. Uh, oh, what a strange timeline we were in. Uh, Nintendo has the sensor free, um, ha um, sensor free Haven version. You know what? To be honest, though, man, like Nintendo never really censored stuff like that for a while. Cause like Senra and Kagura games have been uncensored and been on Nintendo platforms for like more than a decade or something like that. Or so, um, and even go back to like Conker's Bad Fur Day. That was Nintendo back on the N64, right? So um party man says yeah uh, this doesn't even make sense at all very backwards on sony's part very backwards man i don't get it um, um if the violence directed at a woman specifically i think uh, they would also censor that well i mean if it, but that's not the point though we're not talking about violence directed at somebody we're talking about simple they have an issue with the girl being on the cover with the omega emphasis you know on the pattern design and on her chest that's the thing um Let's see here. Um, it's not even a Western issue. Um, it's not even an issue. Wait, hold up. It's not even a Western issue. Is more of a problem with companies and devs catering to a certain group of individuals that don't even buy the games. Well, no, that's not that's not necessarily the case because this is Sony's policy, right? This is a policy that Sony has in place for sexual content. So um, I think really this thought process is really because of how the West thinks about certain things. So I see what you're saying, but this has been an issue with Western things for a while with west just western stuff in general like people's comments and things like that this has been an issue in general and it i think it's a it's a society it's definitely a society thing it's definitely a society thing look man listen i can sit there i can go to the gym and i can watch on primetime tv daytime tv the incredibles right where you got dudes literally shooting up everything but stuff with sexual themes with movies is heavily censored on tv Whereas they can, sh like, heavily censored on TV. Whereas they can show people just getting shot to death, okay, in the Incredibles, and blood spattering everywhere on primetime, daytime television. The FCC will censor the hell out of certain movies and certain scenes in movies, like, for example, like Monsters Ball, for example, with Halle Berry. That's heavily censored on TV, like, ridiculously censored, which is fine. I don't have a problem with that, right? But, like, Incredibles, like, dude, there's just blood spattering. It's not, like, crazy blood. It's not, like super crazy but still you can have that on tv no problem so that's what i'm talking about there in terms of just like in general what like media does in general and what society like what the structure puts in front of us that's what i'm trying to say you know but definitely violence is not as censored when it comes to certain types of violence it's not as censored as much as sexual themes here in america when it comes to just certain tv shows and things like that you know Ex uh, not incredible. Sorry. Yeah, expendables. There you go. Sorry. Sorry. My bad. The <laughs> expendable. Not incredibles. Expendables. Um, let's see here. Sony censorship really does. Um, I've canceled so many pre PS4 pre-orders and Switch version. 
Yeah, um, not Incredibles. <laughs> Incredibles is that's the that's the cartoon movie or whatever, like Disney or whatever, right? With the like with the the family Incredibles, Expendables, my bad. <laughs> um, Five Nights and Freddy's uh, says um, there is a reason why Kardashians are famous, and it's not because of how talented they are. <laughs> yeah, but even their stuff has to be censored at stuff. <laughs> but yeah, man, you're right. Uh, top uh, Sunder says Sony censorship really does uh, suck. Out. Okay, I already read that. Uh, do you know who specifically is specifically in Sony made this policy? No, I don't know of anybody who particularly made it. It's probably a board of people that made it. You know. Uh, the point is that um, the objectification of is women is of women. How is this objectification of women? That's the like. And how is that? How how is that? How is that the case here? How is that? I, I don't see how that's the case at all. Um, um, I do not see how that's the case at all. It's literally standing there with the design around her chest. That is not any objectification at all of women. <laughs> that's not, it's literally not at all. She's just sitting there, like she or she's just there smiling. So I don't, I don't really see that as as that at all. And once again, this is objectification. So then, what is mass amounts of violence? So then, are you promoting violent violence? You know, with blood spatter and a chainsaw is that something like oh you're now you're promoting violence against people like come on man like i don't i don't see i don't see how it's like that at all um wait didn't they censor uh something petty something petty and violent in days gone did they i don't i don't recall them doing that and if that's the case do, you, do we need to watch um do we need to watch the what's it called the uh the scene from the last of us 2 to talk, I mean, if you're talking about if they're censoring certain things or not violence, I mean, they're, they didn't censor that. I'll tell you that. Adrian Lemus with the subscription. Thank you so much, Adrian. Appreciate that. Uh, I'm not saying that, uh, I'm not saying they should, but it's obvious. How, what's obvious? What is, what is obvious? It's obvious that they put an Omega across their chest. So what? <laughs> and what's the problem? See, like, and so what? Yes, women have women have chests, women have boobs, and they put it they put it they put the omega on there because the design is clever. And so what? If they put if there was a design that fit a male chest and it was like a game about a dude and they made like a an, a logo that fit across a male's chest and he was like flexing or something like that, I wouldn't get upset. It's a clever design of putting the logo in terms of the omega in there. Like, what's the big problem? If you're okay with violence. It's not, I don't see that as objectification of women, especially when we have swimsuits, uh, like models. We have people out there that that's fine. That's completely, but that's not objectification of women in, in that sense. And they're nearly naked. This is not even, this is, she's not even naked. She's not even in close to being naked. She's not even close. So I don't understand where the issue is. It's a design. Yes. It's put around her chest. So what, you know, like, so. <laughs> and <clears throat> let's see it's obvious that they're making her uh, a logo is it objectified no it's not obvious no it's not it's a clever design use and that once again that's the design pattern of her clothing that she has so i don't see it as that i'm gonna have to disagree um, I don't, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm clear. And I'm saying that I'm clearly disagreeing with your objectification thing that you're trying to say. I'm clearly disagreeing with that. I, um, I clearly disagree with you saying it's objectification. No, no I, I, I don't, I don't think it's that, don't think it's that at all. Um, I don't think that's the case at all with the loco. I really don't. That's the design. That's how women's chests are. They have a design that's very similar to that. If they put that there. Not, oh my gosh, objectification of the woman. No, it's fine. Because we see... <laughs> Let's just say, for example, there's Catherine full body, right? This is also another logo that people kind of got upset about. And I think this is potentially even worse than the other. Uh, this is potentially even worse. But from what I understand, this was not censored by Sony. This, this, this was not censored by Sony. This logo was not censored. This is mimicking the freaking, uh, this, it's either this girl or this girl's butt. 
So that's basically what this logo is doing. This logo is doing that, mimicking the butt of a girl. So should this be censored too? Is this objectification? Because they literally showed the trailer where it transformed into that. That's what this logo is about. So is this objectification too? I don't think so. It's just what they're going for for the game. I don't see how this is okay, but this, this is not okay. This is not okay, but this is okay. Okay, David, I see what you're saying, okay? But I just, I, I don't understand some of these things with people, you know? They aren't showing anything other than uh, shapes of boobs, uh, yet they're sensitive, and we can't even see the shapes of boobs and get offended by it. Yeah, Sony has a weird reputation since Andrew House left Sony. Um, what's up, Nelson? Um, let's see here. Feto, it, it, I think the logo is objectifying women. They haven't even seen the game, lol. If the logo is objectifying women, they might as well take the whole game down. Yeah, they're not going to do that because that's less money for them. That's the thing. There's no issue. People just want something to be offended by, to be honest. Well, I mean, I don't know if it's people. I don't think necessarily these people are offended by it. Some people just think that, you know, oh, well, this logo, you, you take it away, you remove it, or it should be, it should be this certain way or whatever the case is. But, I mean, I, I see what you're saying. I, I see what you're saying. Uh, um, so, let's see. We all know Objectified in GTA. Yeah, you know, uh, GTA has some stuff, right? Um, eh, that Catherine logo isn't isn't so bad. It's not. I don't think the Catherine logo is so bad either. I don't think it's so bad either, but if you watch the full trailer and then you see how they shape the logo, I mean, then you obviously know what the logo is shaped for. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's literally that. They literally cut off the letters of the... <laughs> they cut off the letters of the of the freaking... <laughs> of, the, of, of the freaking logo or of the title, like the words. Like, so they cut it off in order to make that point, you know? Um, I'm pretty sure Sony might have had an issue. They probably said they probably had some issue with this logo you know i think they probably wanted to go a little bit more with this i think they personally wanted to make it to where um it had that but her maybe her body was like turned around and you can see the rest of her body filled in with it i think they wanted to do that but sony said no i per then this is just, that's just my own this is not com confirmed or fact or anything like that but based off the trailer i think they probably wanted to do something a little bit different you know with that logo the way because it looks it looks a bit awkward the way that it's put, like, I mean, that's just, that's just me. I mean, I don't know for you guys, but to me, I think they probably wanted to do something a little bit different than this. But, I mean, this seems like it was just kind of thrown together, like, in terms of what they wanted to do with the box art of the game. But, hey, uh, that's just me. Um, let's see here. Um, Models, he says, I don't get this whole argument. If you find a product in poor taste, don't buy. Uh, you're probably not the target audience anyway. Well, it's not necessarily that. I don't think I don't think there's so many people that are upset about that. The issue that I see that some people have is that like, oh well, they can just do without this or whatever. They're not. They're. Not, they're I mean, some people are saying it's it's not okay to censor, but this logo, like, I'm happy that they did this. You know, whatever the case is. So there's that argument, which is fine. That's a fine argument to make. My only issue is that I would want that same energy when it comes to violence. That's all I'm trying to say. Why is literally o Omega symbol on a chest you know um which by the way it's not showing that the, the chest like the problem is that people are looking at it and saying oh well look at this big omega symbol that means the boobs are like gigantic but no it's actually the omega symbol that doesn't mean it's that doesn't mean her chest is that big that's that's not that it just means the omega symbol is right there you know what i'm saying so that's that's the issue that i that i have is that it, people are looking i think some people are looking a little bit too much into it but at the same time if you look at like um why isn't that same energy there for mass amounts of violence in logos or like a violent looking logo or logos with weapons or blood dripping or things like that? How is how is this so much worse than than that? I mean, I, I don't think the um, I don't think it's objectifying women. I think that, like I said, because we already have swimsuit covers and other things like that. You know, I think it's it's normal. It's fine as long as it's not something that's like lewd. You know, I think if it's lewd, then that maybe is an issue. If it's like super lewd, if there's like nudity, obviously if there's like nudity and things like that, then that's obviously a big issue, right? Or if there's something disgusting happening, then that's a big issue. But there's not, there's literally nothing disgusting happening at all. I mean, women have, women wear tops that, that show off their chest or whatever the case is all the time, normal. And it's not like they're trying to, it just, it just looks that, it's, it's just that way because 
what can you do? You know what I'm saying? Like, what can you do? They're there. So it's not necessarily like every day you'll see that when you go outside every single day, you'll see that, you know, it's not a big deal. It's just, OK, yeah, whatever. You know, um, that's at least that's the thought process that I have. It's like it's not a big deal. Like act. Stop acting like stop giggling over every single thing you see. Like you see a pair of boobs or whatever the case is, or you see a woman, you know, you don't giggity, giggity, like you don't have to get giggity with every single time you see a woman's body. It's like, dude, act like you've been there before or something like that. Or act like you've had a girlfriend at least in, once in your life. Like people get way too giggity over this because you got a lot of people who, you know what I'm saying? And, and I think that's where this issue comes with, man. We got way too many you know, don't, <laughs> that don't ever like deal with women that much, you know what I'm saying? Or don't see enough. I don't know what the case is, but there's way too much. There's way too much. Okay. Hold up. We got some lag going on here. All right. I think we back. We got some way too much giggity going on with this stuff, man. So <laughs> we got the way too much giggity. Um, I'm late, but I'm already entertained. <laughs> Um, all right. So let's see here. I heard uh, there was a violent scene in the early build of Days Gone that was heavily toned down for the final release. Okay. I didn't hear about that. I didn't hear about that. Um, you, uh, you make a vid on this topic, OJ, I suggest a good conversation. You know what? The, the problem, I, I could make a vid, but I'm not going to answer back to anything because like I said before, I did, I think I got some people upset at me on Twitter that I really, that I respect and I like, so I don't want people to be upset at me. So I don't know. I think this conversation is good enough because you guys can like, you know, I can get you guys' feedback and I'm normal tone. I mean, I might make a video, but I don't know if I'm going to do anything more than that just because like, I just don't want people to be upset. You know what I'm saying? So there you go. Um, so yeah, any other questions or thought, thought process on this one, guys, then we can get into like random dude, an hour, dude, it's already been an hour and a half. Can you guys believe that this show has already went for an hour and a half? You guys are freaking amazing. I don't know what I do without you guys, all you guys coming through to the show to just like, cause you guys really provide, you know, for the kind of let me continue on with this stuff. So shout out, shout out. Hey, you guys all give yourself some, some love for the, uh, coming out to the stream today. I appreciate that, man. Seriously. You guys make this show tick. Um, so shout outs there, man. Shout outs to everybody. Um, all right. So any other thoughts or comments, questions, guys? Um, all right. Um, not a cool outfit. Hold up. Okay. That feels that's not as bad as the one I was thinking of. Okay. Um, all right. So I think we should move on to random topics, comments, questions, thoughts. If you guys have a, if you guys have a question, um, feel free to drop it in the chat. Um, Astral Chain gameplay in a month? Probably, yeah, E3, yeah. Yeah, people get people get too upset. Yeah, people get too upset. TK, uh, TKR vids, what's up, man? How, I, um, I have more of a problem with uh, Fem, Blake, Fem, the Blake, oh, that, that late, oh, from, uh, from uh, Fire Emblem. Um... Outfit, it's lazy and tacky take on, on male, on the male's outfit. Oh, she's the female, so we have to show midriff thighs. Uh, forget uh, practicality. I don't have a problem with that. I think it looks cool, but that's just me. Yo, Frank R with the Toby Buster. Thank you so much, Frank R. Shout outs with the $20 donation says thanks for the stream. No, thank you for being here. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Um, do appreciate that. Thank you so much. The 20.
We're going to get you up on the top string ninja. You guys give some love to Frank R. Frank R with the 20. Thank you for the Toby Blaster, my man. Keep the questions coming, guys. Um, do you think Sony's new censorship policy will impact on how many um, will buy the PlayStation? Nah, not really, because it's going to be more, mostly Western people anyway. So, more to the point, it would be more like than trouble. It's worth trying to try to get the rights for Xenosaga back from Bandai Namco. Um, they can work with Bandai Namco to get the game, but if Nintendo really wanted the rights for for Xenosaga, they they could get them. Um, See you, man. Got to bounce. Got to go home. My day, uh, my day is done here at work. Thank you so much for the donation, though, uh, Frank. I appreciate that, man. Thank you, thank you. What do you think will be the biggest reveal at E3, dude? I think the biggest reveal at E3, if we do have, will be a Monolith Soft reveal, some type of game from Monolith Soft. So yeah, that would be that would be my thing. I'm trying to find info on uh, Sham or oh, Samurai Showdown. Apparently, if you buy it before June 30th, the season pass, it is free. But I don't know if it applies to the Switch or PC versions. Hmm. I'll try to see if I can find that out for you. Try to see if I can find it out for you, my man. All right, guys, make sure you tag me at PlayerSense or hashtag PlayerSense if you want to ask me a question. Do you think we'll get another Smash DLC announcement at E3 or a Shadow Drop? Um, I think we might, we might get a Smash announcement in terms of what they're going to be doing with Smash. We might get like a little, like you know, minute or two trailer or something like that in terms of the next character and everything and what information we we could be getting on that. A Buck Bumble remake. Any other questions, guys? What was the name of the funny Final Fantasy VII remake thing for us who don't have social media? Uh, I don't know if there was a name for it. It was just the thing that happened, you know? Let me try to see if I can find it again. Yeah, it was just the, it was just the guy's uh, reaction to. It. I'm I'm a I'm a, let me see here. I can put it in the I can put it in the uh, the comment section. So th there there's the tweet. Or if you guys want to see it again. I 
I thought it was a funny YouTube video clip. Nah, it's a twi it's Twitter. But you don't I don't think you have to have a do you have to have a Twitter account to see it? Let me check. Uh, maybe. I'm not really sure. Either way, that's it. Let's see, I just realized you do look a bit like Bear OJ in the trailer. <laughs> not really. We're just both black. That's really what it comes down to. I don't really look like him. We're, both, we're just both black and we wear glasses, but I don't really look like him, to be honest. <laughs> Any chance of Dragon's Crown coming to Switch? Dragon's Crown? Uh, no, nah, I don't... I don't think dragon's crown is gonna come dude i'll be honest i don't i don't think it's gonna come maybe i mean maybe but we don't even have odin sphere yet you know so i was thinking like well where's odin sphere you know your haircut is too nah my haircut really isn't i have i i my haircut is a fade is a, a is a is a um, about a mid mid to high fade barrett doesn't really have a fade what barrett has barrett has like an old school like crew top so basically the side of his hair from the very top is all it's it's the same length and the the top is in a certain way mine is a fade to where it goes from here and it fades so that's actually a different type of hairstyle which like i said we're just both black and we both have black people hair that's really what it comes down to i mean like <laughs> that's really what it comes down to uh, but anyway it's not even the same type of haircut to be honest <laughs> But it's okay. I don't expect you guys to know these type of black black people details. I get it. A lot of a lot of a lot of other types of people will just say black people look alike for certain things. Not trying to sit here and say that you're racist or nothing like that. I'm just saying like a lot of a lot of people just sit there and say, oh well, it looks like oh well, they're both black. They both wear glasses and they both have black people hair. Oh well, you, you look like him. I mean that that's just what a lot of other people do. So it's all good. So it's all good. Barrett doesn't have a fade though. Barrett's haircut is definitely it's it's not a fade. It's like more of like a, it's like a crew cut, one on one. It's like a, a one on a side and just kind of all you know, the same length and then the top of the hair is whatever. So, um, <clears throat> Aiden Quinn says, um, just got here. Have you seen the poster from GameStop periodists from Marvel Ultimate Alliance? 3? I haven't seen the poster. What's it look like? Uh, what do you think about the rumors of Scalebound being reformed for the Switch and will be a E three? Do you think? I haven't seen the rumors of it being at E3. I haven't seen that. I've never played a Fire Emblem game before. What's the most important thing I should know before jumping into the franchise? Nothing. Watch my videos that I've already done um, where I talk about the franchise. Just watch my videos on Fire Emblem. Please watch my videos. I've already had a number of videos up, so just go ahead and watch them. Um, so, yeah. My bad, you're right. It's not a fade. I just watched the trailer. No, it's all good. It's all good. I get called that like on the spawn cast like five million times, so I'm just used to it. So it's all good. I mean, like I said the other day, I was like, somebody called me a fake Barrett. F Barrett is the fake character, yet I'm the one being called fake. <laughs> I got called a fake Barrett, yet Barrett's not real. He's a video game character. I'm real. I'm the Yeah, I got called the fake one, so it's all good, man. <laughs> I'm used to it. Um, I know you guys don't mean any, don't mean any harm, of course. Uh, let's see here. Got a 2DS not long ago. Any, any games you suggest? Yeah. Fire Emblem Awakening, Fire Emblem, um, Shadows of, Fire Emblem Echo Shadows of Valentia, Fire Emblem Fates. Um, and that's about it. <laughs> no, Super Mario 3D World, Mario Kart 7, um, Bravely Default, Bravely Second, uh, Persona Q, uh, all of those are games are good. Um, it's pattern recognition, essentially, um, unless you know the specifics of what you look like and see a similar shape in your mind connects dots that aren't, uh, aren't there. Oh, well, I've been looking at Bear for, you know, 20 years or whatever the case is. Like, I've seen his artwork and everything and in terms of stuff. And so, yeah, I mean, to me, yeah, it's like, I don't look like him, really. There's other, there's other brothers that look a lot more like him, but it's all good, man. It's all good.
Uh, how much Riley Vance is how much longer? How much longer what? Hey, Charity, how's it going? Good to see you here. What's up? Riley, man, until you tell me exactly what you're talking about, nobody knows. You said how much longer, and then you said one hour. What do you mean? You need to let people know what you're talking about. Um, you think three houses, strategy game of the year? Oh, absolutely, hands down. Absolutely. Yeah, but I've had people say that I look like Mr. T, too. So that's the funny. I'm like, I don't really look like Mr. T, but we're both black, and we have a little bit of muscle, so therefore I look like Mr. T. <laughs> I don't have the same haircut as him or anything like that, you know? But, hey, like I said, it, it is what it is. And how many hours will the direct start? And how many hours? Dude, the direct is tomorrow at 3 p.m. PT. So it just depends on where you live. 3 p.m. PT tomorrow, Pacific time. You guys came into the stream late. We already talked about that. But um, yeah, 3 p.m. PT, 6 p.m. Eastern time. I don't know where you guys live in the world, though. So, so there you go. You're going to make a prediction video and or wish list video for E3? Well, I've been doing a lot of prediction stuff for E3. Like I did my uh, I've been doing my countdown to E3 where I have different stuff where like Monolith Soft videos and things like that. But um, yeah, we're definitely going to be doing uh, like live streams and more like a dedicated videos to E3 predictions, like really close to to the to the um, to E3 getting started, probably like the day before or so. But yeah, I've already got multiple E3 videos up on the channel, so you can you can check them out. Uh, if you're black, Jay Biggs, then it's just it's just because you're black, so you know better. <laughs> uh, Rocky D12 says, uh, "Play since you're gonna." Oh, I already read that. Um, any other questions, guys? We still have about uh, about a good 18 minutes left of questions. I'll be more than happy to answer anything for you guys. Comments, questions, concern, what you guys want to do, or we can just get right into the uh, the gameplay for Dragon Quest Heroes. Dragon Quest Heroes 2. This is my first time playing that. I think I played Dragon Quest Heroes, um, but I don't know if I played. I don't think I played Dragon Quest Heroes 2. What happened? Wait, what happened to Rage 2? Um, I couldn't go get the game this morning because of some issues that I was having here at home. So that's the reason why I couldn't go get the game this morning. And it Best Buy is all the way on the other side of the house. Or sorry, other, other side of the house. The other side of town. Um, I had to talk to someone this morning. So I had a couple different things that I had to do in terms of uh, scheduling. So it just didn't work out with my schedule today. So that's the reason why I didn't go. Because it's, it's a 20 minute, it's about a 20 minute drive there and it's a 20 minute drive back. So it's 40 minutes out of the day. And then I'd have to install the game and everything like that. And it just wouldn't have worked with what I had to do in the morning. Um, and because like, I had to work in the morning too. I had to get you guys a video because I, I promised that I'd stream today like a lot. So it just wouldn't have worked with me leaving, getting work done. So I have a video for you guys tomorrow morning and everything streaming that I have to do today, like both PE lives and then also other types of streaming that I'm going to do. So I ha I, there's just no way it just didn't work. And like I said, I did have to talk to somebody in the morning. So it, I just couldn't get it. I just couldn't leave. I couldn't leave the house. Uh, best Xenoblade waifu? Uh, I mean, like, you know, uh, Mithra, Pyra, they're cool. Nia's cool. You know? How old is Nia? Never mind. Um, Pyra and Mithra are cool. They're 500 years old, so. Plus. So, I'll go with that. Um... <laughs> Hey, OJ, late to the stream. Is the Direct definitely only on Mario Maker, or could they show this stuff? No, it's a Super Mario Maker 2 Direct. The title of the stream is exactly what Nintendo titled it on Twitter. Super Mario, Super Mario Maker 2 Direct. That is the exact title of the stream. When does Rage 2 come out? It came out yesterday, but people are playing it today. Technically speaking, you could pick it up, you can pick it up at 9 p.m. PT yesterday. So for me, it came out yesterday, but people are playing it today. 
Um, someone just said, uh, would you would you say getting a new 3DS is worth it to play Xenoblade? I already have the original 3DS, or should I get Xenoblade on the Wii? Uh, it depends on how you like to play your games. I mean, Xenoblade on the 3DS, if you want to play portably, then obviously, yeah, Xenoblade on the 3DS is a good option. But I mean, like, do you have a Switch? I mean, can you play Xenoblade Chronicles 2 or Torna? Yo, what's up, Eddie? How's, how's it going today, my man? Chibi Manuel says, any chance of Super Nintendo games coming to the Switch online at E3? I think there's a little bit of a chance, yeah. Kieran Buckley says, how many hours did you put into Xenoblade Chronicles 2? I clocked almost 150. I think I clocked nearly 300 hours in that game. If you if you uh, factor in Torn of the Golden Country, definitely over 300 hours. So pumped about this Mario Maker stuff. What do you what are you pumped about the most, Eddie? We talked about it earlier, but uh, we didn't. I didn't get a chance to get your thoughts on it. So, what do you, what do you, uh, what are you looking forward to the most? Can you play the original Xenoblade on the Wii U without the Wii controllers? The original Xenoblade on the Wii U without the Wii controllers? I think you no. I think you need a Wii controller to play the game. I don't think you can play it on the Wii U gamepad. Vertical levels. Okay, nice. Nice. They are 500 years young. Absolutely. They look great for their age. They look great for their age, Party Man. Absolutely. Um, I want to see Super Mario Maker 2 themes. Um, either way, I'm hyped. Okay. Do you believe that two DLC characters for Smash will be Microsoft reps? No. David Balfour says, Persons, did you see Kotaku's article about criticizing Barrett's VO as stereotypical or racist? Yeah, you, I guess you weren't here last night. Um, I don't think they said it's racist per se, um, but if you were here last night, we actually we actually had a lot of fun talking about it. So um, if you want to hear my thoughts on that, go to my stream last night. Go to the end of my stream last night and just kind of go from there. Uh, we 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 were discussing. We had a little we had a little bit of fun last night. So check just check out my stream from yesterday. It's up. PE Live is up. The the PE Live NC. It's up on the channel. Uh, we talked about that in depth, but nah, it's not. I don't think it's necessarily. A, I mean, I see where they're coming from in the article. You know, but I'm I'm not like offended or like upset or anything like that. Yeah, but it's at the very end of the towards the end of the stream. Like you can just put it to any and like we 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 make a lot of jokes. It's kind of funny. So, um, praise the load. <laughs> you take the load off your shoulders. <laughs> uh, do you have any tips for how to play Toon Link? Uh, not really. Um, outside of like throw stuff at people uh your bombs and your boomerang do combo into like uh, aerials so just keep that in mind as well when you're playing to link i suggest playing young link or <laughs> regular link instead that's what i suggest <laughs> battle for an egg says uh was chrono trigger on the super nintendo it was on the super nintendo if so do you think it'll be part of the super nintendo switch online lineup if they announce super nintendo games at e3 i don't know if it'll be part of that but it was on the super nintendo it was originally released on the Super Nintendo, I think back in 1995. I played it like, I rented it, I remember, and thought this was the greatest thing ever when it first came out. It still is my favorite RPG ever. Like, it's it's still that. That and Fire Emblem Awakening are my two favorites. Um, <laughs> it's Mario time. Yeah, Mario time tomorrow. Mario time tomorrow, guys. Uh, 3 p.m. PT, 6 p.m. Eastern time. I will be streaming it live right here on Player Essence. So keep that in mind. Um, all right, good, good, uh, good questions, guys. Keep it going. More RPGs for NES. There's not really a ton of RPGs on the NES, the original NES. There's a lot more RPGs on the Super Nintendo. If you have the Super Nintendo Classic, there's actually a good number of RPGs on the Super Nintendo Classic. I mean, you can play Mario RPG, you can play uh, Final Fantasy VI, there's Secret of Mana. So there's a lot of good Super Nintendo RPGs right here on this system right here that you can play. So there you go. Um... <clears throat> <laughs> well, yeah, you're not a big Super Mario Maker guy, so I can see why you're not really too upset about that one. So, so yeah. Hey, how you can't put codes to download maps on Super Mario Maker 3DS? Well, yeah, that's the Mario Maker 3DS. That's not really the, the best version of the game, you know. I think they cut that out on there. So, um, so yeah, I would stick with the Wii U version or, of course, the Switch version coming up. Chibi Vignon says, have you ever liked mystery slash puzzle games like Phoenix Wright? No, not really. I've never been a big fan of those. I've tried playing them, but I've just never been a huge fan of like the mystery or puzzle games. But hey, guys, make sure you hit that like button for all the new people that are hopping in. Make sure you hit that like button 
before the stream ends. We are going to stream for about another 10 minutes of questions, so make sure you hit that like button. But we are going to take a little bit of a break, and then we're going to go right into Dragon Quest Heroes. Actually, I don't know if we're even going to take a little bit of a break. I do have to go on the PSN. I have to go on PSN, though, and download something. Download uh, some weapons, but we can, you know, we don't even have to really take a break for that. We can just go right into it. So we're going to do 10 more minutes of questions, guys, and then we're going to head right into uh, Dragon Quest Heroes 2 um, gameplay, because I know you guys like Dragon Quest here, don't you? Unexpected Smash character. Okay, on Pokemon reveals. Okay. Okay, good stuff. You mean you're talking about like at E3? What is a waifu? I keep hearing that term. Waifu is like an anime, like an anime uh, female like good looking girl that people say is like oh she's like a waifu like a wife you know but like a japanese name like waifu like she's like your wife so that's basically what a waifu is i would love to see remakes of uh dragon quest one through three i think that was a missed opportunity either in the ds or the 3ds i don't know if they're going to do all three remakes at once but that'd be nice phil spencer for smash yo phil spencer's dope um, Phil Spencer is dope. <laughs> I play Chrono Trigger a lot if they put it as part of the Super Switch online uh, online lineup. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I'd play it a lot. I've already beat that game like 5 million times. But yeah, i definitely play it. Definitely play it. All right, you guys have any other questions? Keep it going. When I was practicing with Fox against the level six random CPUs, the young Link, I fought used a lot of range attacks and it helped me use down B better then I spiked him with his own flaming arrow to win. All right. Karen Buckley says, do you think uh, Nintendo needs to announce new games at E3? The list of the games for this year are already stacked. Well, of course they'll announce new games, but they're only gonna, they don't really need to announce like a ton of new games at E3 because they're really talking about 2019 games. So nah, Nintendo Directs is where they kind of announce a lot of new games. So I don't think Nintendo really needs to announce a ton of new games. I think they just need to announce a few different third party games coming you know, to the system, maybe announce another first party game or two that could potentially be coming and then give us details and give us release dates and stuff like that on games that are coming out this year. Give us hands-on looks and everything. So I don't think they need to announce a ton of new games. Uh, they just need to make sure that they have a good show with a lot of cool games and showing off like the content so we know what we're going to be playing this year. So that's that's personally what I think. I don't I don't think E3, they need to announce a bunch of new games that we're not going to play for the next two, three years. That's how, used, that, that's how E3 used to be and that E3 sucks in my opinion. Uh, and Nintendo Directs, they can announce games that are like, you know, brand new, unannounced. This is the first time that you've seen it, right? So they do that at Nintendo Directs a lot. Aaron says, any chance of uh, Nintendo Directs outside of E3? Um, any chance of Ease uh, 9 coming to the Switch? Ease 8 is really fun. Should have played it sooner. Yeah, I think there's always a chance if Ease 8 is on the Switch, which it did well. I think Ease 9 definitely has a chance. But I just it, obviously, it's not going to be at launch, you know. But absolutely, it has a chance. Absolutely. <sighs> Can't wait for God Eater 3, hoping for 1 and 2. I don't think 1 and 2 are coming over. Um, personally, I think they're just going to focus on 3 and just go forward from there. There's no point in going backwards. Apparently, God Eater 3 is way better than the first two games. So what's the point of porting over the first two when God Eater 3 is just so much better? You know? I ended up uh, ruining my friend's experience of Chrono Trigger. I ended up playing the iOS port and couldn't bring myself to play it longer than an hour. So hopefully it comes to Switch. Yeah, or you can get the Super Nintendo Classic. I mean, it's on there, so... E3 starts, um, check out my E3 video. If you want to know everything about E3, check out my E3 video when it starts and everything for Nintendo. I got times and everything there. So check out the videos, guys. Um, if you don't know what time E3 starts, you should know because it's already been up on the channel for a while now. So let me let me link you that video. Um, watch the channel, guys. Watch the channel. Because we don't know where you, I don't know what country you live in and all that, so... Click on the link. Check out the channel. You always get information here, man. Nintendo's E3 plans, E3 2019 plans revealed. Bam, right there. Gives you all the times, gives you the dates, gives you what you need to know right there. 
Thoughts on hacking console after the life cycle is over? I don't really care what people do. If they want to hack their console, go ahead. Is the ITF GT on Switch dead? No, nah, not really. Once the cartridge sizes get bigger, then we can see about it happening. I thought Chrono Trigger wasn't on the Super Nintendo Classic. Oh, my bad. You're right. It's not on the Super Nintendo. What am I thinking? It's not on the Super Nintendo Classic. I was thinking of Secret of Mana. Brain fart. Sorry. Uh, Final Fantasy VI is on the Super Nintendo Classic. Sorry. Chrono Trigger is not. Secret of Mana is on there. And Final Fantasy VI is on there. And Super Mario RPG is on there. Those three Square Enix games are on there. But Chrono Trigger is not on there. So, no, you can't play it on there. Uh, so, yeah. It'd be cool if it came to the Switch. <laughs> My bad. Although, it, there's a very easy way to put it on there if you if you really want it. There's, But, I, like I said, I'm not going to tell you guys. Just look it up yourself. You can put a lot of different games on here when it comes to Super Nintendo stuff. I haven't even done it to... I haven't even bothered to do it on mine, though, to be honest, because I don't... I've already played Chrono Trigger, and a lot of these Super Nintendo games I've played a million times, so... I'm expecting a lot of THQ Nordic games at the on the E3 Direct. I don't know why you'd be expecting a lot of THQ, like, third-party games at a Nintendo Direct. So, if I were you, I wouldn't... I'd, I'd calm your expectations of that, considering that Nintendo isn't THQ Nordic, and there's no need for Nintendo to have a lot of games shown at their Nintendo Direct. Like there's no reason there's no reason to believe at this point that THQ Nordic is going to have like a million games, you know, a ton of games at the Nintendo E3 Direct. There's no there's nothing that says that. So, I would I would not uh, um I would not expect that. There's nothing to expect that. That's just I think maybe you like THQ Nordic, so <laughs> but yeah, I wouldn't expect that because if you don't get it then you're going to be upset. Um Karen Buckley says, "Do you think Nintendo plan to dominate E3 will be the talk of the the talk of the town, Dr. Ray?" Um <laughs> Uh, I mean, I think obviously Nintendo is going to have a good E3, so people are going to be talking about it. So yeah, people are going to, it's going to dominate a lot of the conversation is what Nintendo does at E3, just like last year too. I mean, so yeah. Uh, some dude says, I'll probably just end up emulating it on my 3DS. Well, there you go. Do whatever you want. Now, uh, J2 Blue says, I think it would be cool if Malasoft's new game was a space adventure RPG with space battles and foot exploration where you fight with guns, swords, and mechs. That'd be cool. I'd be down for that. I'd be completely down for that, J2 Blue. Completely down. I just basically described Xenoblade. Yeah, but Xenoblade doesn't have space combat, though. Xenoblade doesn't have space combat, so. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. All right. Um, what time is it? All right, 3 o'clock. Let's go ahead and get this first couple uh, hours or so of some uh, of some uh, Dragon Quest, shall we, guys? Thank you so much for watching the PE Live segment. We are going to head right into the gameplay. To be honest, man, we're not really going to spend too much time dilly dallying around. So we're going to head right into the gameplay for Dragon Quest Heroes 2. Um, you guys can still ask me questions during like if you want to ask me more questions about E3 and stuff like that. I'll be more than happy to answer. So you guys don't have to. If you guys have more questions, just tag me. Throughout the chat, Dragon Quest Heroes is more of a chill game. So tag me, and I'll answer questions just like a PE Live, guys. I just, I kind of just don't want to be, like, sitting here and just talking. I want to kind of be playing a game and talking to you guys. Just kind of relax and play a game because, like, I don't really get to play a ton of games, like, outside of me working. So I just kind of want to play a game and relax and talk to you guys. So you guys can still ask me questions. You guys can still talk about E3. Feel free to do all that during the stream. So don't go anywhere. Just hang, come hang out if you got time. Uh, chill if you've got time here. So we're going to move this over to Dragon Quest. Dragon Quest Heroes 2. All right. So let's see here. Let me exit out of this, exit out of this, exit out of this, exit out of this. Uh, did you hear about Square Enix canceled another RPG? No, Solomon Solo. Square Enix canceled another RPG? What RPG did they cancel? What did they cancel? I didn't. Does anybody know about the RPG that Square Enix canceled? I didn't hear about that. Well, I think they're complaining about where it's positioned, DJ King, on the woman's body. 
I think that's that's the problem. Not necessarily the logo itself, just they're complaining about that. All right, guys. So I might have some issues with um, with the quality of the stream. It might be a bit blurry, but we're not going to stop the stream if the quality is blurry. Okay, guys? Like that, I'm still not going to stop it, though. So just keep that in mind. Um, let me move over to gameplay, RPG game. All right. Once we start up, make sure you guys let me know how the announce or let me know how the audio sounds and everything. So hold up. Let's go to we're going to go to PSN real quick. And we're going to buy some or not buy. We're going to down we're going to put in this promo code. Um, Rage 2 is going to blow your mind. Oh, does it doesn't have it doesn't have to be capital, does it? It's no longer valid. <laughs> what? How is it no longer valid? Sony? Dang it, Sony! Did somebody already use it? But there's no way they would have known. <laughs> That's so funny if somebody already used it. That's so funny. <laughs> There's no way that they would have known the last letter, though. That's the thing. There's no way. And, like, had it ready to go. <laughs> oh, no. We got it. No, we got it. We got it. it it's, it's, it's cap sensitive. It's cap sensitive. It's cap sensitive. So that, that's really what it comes down to. <laughs> It's cap said. There's no way somebody would be like. <laughs> that would have been hilarious though. I want to give them them props. They, yo, they earned the code. If they can guess the code while I'm doing that on stream, they they earned that. They they definitely earned that code. If if they can do that, they've earned it for sure. It's just cap sensitive, guys. That's all it is. <laughs> all right, I'll be right back, guys. I'm gonna use the restroom real quick. And I'm gonna grab an iced tea. I'll be right back. We got some DLC Slime Knight Shield add-on. <laughs> Charity, where do you live? <laughs> it's up to you. <laughs> all right, so let's see here. Uh, all right, so we added in all this content. There you go, installed. Installed. Thirsty for iced tea.
Do you really and do you really or do you enjoy this game more than Hyrule Warriors? I do. This is my first time playing it. Can I play the game? All right, take it easy, uh, Janus or Janus. Yeah, the quality of the port wasn't very good. with simple button combinations if you want to get straight into the action stick controls manually perform every action let's do stick controls first <laughs> it's all good charity we're just playing around Some Sony water to quench your thirst. I got vitamin water. That's it. I was having some vitamin water last night. Should ever wicked war resume, a dragon shall or a dragon shall the sun consume, and sib um, sibling souls be born as once before. But till the land be steeped in blood, may sovereign twins, however good, ne'er ne'er hope to rule in peace forevermore. I wish the port had been better for this so we can have this on Switch. Eh, whatever. Once upon a time, many years ago, uh. there was a long and terrible war. How's the quality of the stream, guys? Is it all blurry on you guys' end? Or is it does it look better?
body. Stream quality is good. Looks good. All right. I fixed it, guys. My choice of reading material. Prepare to make port. <gasps> when the war finally ended, the people of the world made a solemn pact never to fight again. The world was divided into seven realms, and peace reigned for a thousand years. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Better late than never. So you guessed I was napping, eh? You know me too well. Honestly, how did I come to have such a lazy bones for a cousin? Cousin? You never told me you two were related. <laughs> for our sins. So, how did you two meet? Oh, we got talking one day at the academy. I'm Helix. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> Likewise. Wait, have we met someone before? Huh? So, how's everyone back home in Tunisia? Oh, they're fine. No, I hate to say it. <laughs> you look like you're doing pretty well yourself. <laughs> Can't complain. Ah, almost forgot. Here, a little present from everyone. Oh. You've been in harbor for a year now. We thought you might be pining for a taste of home. You can say that again. This little beauty's going in a stew. By the way, how are you enjoying life here? Justice. Should ever wicked war resume, a dragon shall the sun consume, and sibling souls be born as once before. But till the land be steeped in blood, may sovereign twins, however good, ne'er hope to rule in peace forevermore. Right? Isn't that how the prophecy goes? Yeah, not that I have a clue what it means. Maybe something like, don't you dare fight each other again. That's my best guess anyway. Will you stop waving that thing around? Oh, I see you're every bit as reckless as ever. And I see you're every bit as scared of a little fun. Me? Right, that's enough sightseeing for one day. Time to hit the barracks. Well, hey, wait! Wait for me! Not bad. It's even got a little backyard. Well, I say little, but it's big enough to swing a sword in. Which reminds me, I never asked you how your studies have been going. You're top of the class, I suppose? Of course I am. I'm the best swordsman in the academy by miles. Oh, is that so? Hmm. Here. <laughs> if you don't believe me, I'll be happy to show you. Quick spa while the pot boils? You're off. <laughs> but I won't be holding back. I hope you're ready. Things are about to get serious. He gets two swords. I only get one. Erdrick's uh, moveset. Impressive! A 
And of course, any self-respecting knight knows how to parry. If you please. A fine demonstration of offensive and defensive skills, soldier. Now, let's look at spells and special abilities. Remember, both cost magic points to use. Go ahead and try using one. Hold R1, press... Okay, there we go. Inferno Slash. Inferno Slash! Yep, that's the stuff. You've been busy this last year, eh? Right? I see that the old rivalry between you two is hotting up. Shall we finish by talking about tension? As I'm sure you have learned, both attacking and being attacked cause your tension to increase. The bar at the bottom left of the screen shows your current tension level. Now, let the spirit of cousinly competition flow free and fill that bar. Use the right stick to control the camera. You can also push R3 to lock the camera. If you like to customize the camera settings. Uh, yeah. Not too shabby. You've been keeping yourself busy this last year, I see. And it looks like you've actually been doing your homework for once. Shall we step things up a gear? I thought you'd ever ask. Alright, time to take the gloves off and get serious. Stop, stop! Someone's uh, going, going to get hurt if you carry on like that. Certainly better than you used to be. You're not too bad yourself. Very good. You two recruits certainly know one end of a sword from the other. Bravo, bravo! <laughs> <laughs> Must be stewed to perfection by now. Should we dig in? Let's. Ah, smells just like home. <laughs> Here you go. Thanks very much. Well then. Here's to a delicious reunion dinner. It's good to see you. And you. <laughs> huh? What was that? An explosion? What's going on? It's the Junisians! The Junisians are attacking! Huh? Did, did, he, did he just say Junisians? Yeah. <sighs> Chugging milk? Iced tea, my man. Trained to do. Yeah, this is PS4 version. You're right. They, there is no English version. There is no English version outside of the PS4 version. I think maybe PC. Yeah. Like that. There's the PC version. But yeah, it's PS4 version. What's the Dunisian army doing here with all with all with a split battalion of elite monsters? I'm scared, Lazarel. All right, take it easy, Aaron. Thanks for coming out to the stream, man. Uh, yeah, PS4 Pro. Uh, just hang back, uh, Helix. Uh, me and uh, Teresa will help uh, Harbor Harban Army beat back the Dunisians. Of course, there's a Japanese version. All right, <laughs> all right. It's time for action. Um, have to keep them from getting in Harba. There's a Japanese Switch version. Me neither. We won't be very popular in New Zealand. 
after this. We can't afford to worry about that right now. Let's just concentrate on keeping the people of Harbor safe. <laughs> Prince of Dunesia. We're old friends. Kind of. I really hope he's not involved in any of this. I think you could probably check out like Digital Foundry if you really want to know about frame rate and all that. This game's not new. This game came out a while ago. So you can check out Digital Foundry if you want to know about frame rate. Press circle when your attention gauge is full to go into high tension mode for a limited time. I can't wait a moment longer. As long as you're in high tension mode, you'll totally be immune to damage, and that's just for starters. Your attack power will also increase. Any status ailments will be uh, cured instantly. How's the how's the audio volume, guys? Is it is it too loud? Is it overpowering my voice? Like, let me know everything. As if it wasn't enough, you'll be able to uh, use spells and abilities without spending a single point of MP. A little loud? Okay, I don't know why you guys wait to tell me this. You guys gotta tell me these things at the beginning. Sounds good to you? Okay. I'll put it at 82. Alright, audio's at 82 now. Is it better? When you're done, press circle to unleash a coupe de grass, coupe de grass, and leave high tension mode in style. to safety. We should fall back behind the gates ourselves. <laughs> yeah, that looks like the last of them. <laughs> Why don't you pick on someone your own size? That's not you. <laughs> On your feet, you two. This is no time to be lying around. You want to save Harbor, don't you? Let's show this lump that bigger isn't always better. <sighs> oh, it's a, it's a shockwave. Watch out, you two. They call these things nightclubbers for a reason. If that club hits you, it's night night. It's, it's enormous. Since when did the oh, wow, thought I dodged. Night clubbers may be big, but they take a while to recover their footing after attacking. Wait for him to swing his club, then dive in and strike. No, no air dodging. Damn it. <laughs> Better just to stay on the ground. Oh, 
tail. Got tail whipped. Shockwave is freaking late, dude. Dragon Quest is excellent. Wait, that's oh, So he means to make us barge our way in. We can't hide forever, O oh, noble king. <laughs> Sooner or later, justice will be done. Fall back! That was Cesar, wasn't it? Yes, no doubt about it. If the prince himself was leading the attack, then something terrible must have happened. Oh. <laughs> Not bad at all. You two did well out there Thanks today. Thanks to you. Well, if you hadn't stepped in when you did, well, we'd, I mean... Who are you, anyway? You're not from around these parts, that's for certain. Honestly, you can't just go asking who she is like that. You haven't even introduced yourself yet. <laughs> You're right. We haven't made our introductions, have we? But I fear that we'll have to wait. It looks like these gentlemen are keen to have a little word with us first. Fortnite fan, I appreciate the subscription, man. But um, just calm down, okay? Just calm down and enjoy the stream. Circumstances have yet to be established. But it has been confirmed beyond doubt that the Junisians were indeed behind this attack. The question of why, however, is... What does it matter why? We were attacked without warning or provocation. Firm and decisive retaliation is the only possible response. But your majesty, to do so would be to abandon a thousand years of peace and risk the fulfillment of the prophecy. Mm. A thousand pardons, your majesty. Mm. If you'll forgive the intrusion, we bring the warriors who repelled the Dunisians, as per your command. Oh. What I think of the Bayonetta 3 rumors? So that it's, it's not a rumor. Camille actually said that. Peril. You have my heartfelt thanks. Ah, don't mention it, big man. All in a day's work for the likes of us. But seriously? That's the king you're talking to, you idiot. Oh. Hmm. And who exactly are you, might I ask? Oh, I'm just... sorry. Uh, I'm a student here in Harbour. I came from Denizia to study at the academy. And this is my cousin. She just got here from Denizia today. She's what come for a say? visit. You mean to tell us that Tunisian citizens were present in the capital prior to the assault? Of all. Admit it. You are agents of the enemy, what? sent here to lay the groundwork for this cowardly attack. That's not huh? true. We just heard a commotion and came running. We were only trying to help. Enough of your lies. Do you take us for fools? That's enough. Huh? Think a moment. Why would spies sent by Tunisia fight against their own army? It doesn't make sense. These are not spies. They are heroes. I will gladly vouch for them. And who are you, exactly? Forgive my rudeness. I am Desdemona, envoy of the High King of Accordia. Huh? I come at the behest of his radiance himself. <gasps> Your Majesty, my master, long may he reign, bade me make haste to harbor the moment Dunisian forces were observed crossing the border. My orders are simple. Do everything in my power to support you in preventing the ravages of war from blighting these lands again. Is that so? We Harbans have no desire to take up arms against Tunisia. We are more inclined to seek counsel with our former allies and find a means of restoring peace. These hostilities must not continue. 
Well, <laughs> this ends, we hereby call upon the aid of the High King. <laughs> we humbly request that he act as intermediary <laughs> between us and the people of Denisio. Very good, Your Majesty. <laughs> I will return to Accordia right away. Your words will greatly please his radiance. Wait. So you have to let me come with you. I can't just stand by and do nothing while Denizia and Harbour tear each other apart. Me neither. I'm coming too. <coughs> well, Your Majesty, do we have your blessing? <gasps> mm. Very well, Lady Desdemona. Your two young friends may accompany you on your mission. My well, thanks. Your Majesty, I solemnly swear we'll do everything in our All power to... Right, now we're talking! Leave it to us, big man. We'll get the High King to help even if I have to twist his arm off. I too Shut shall up. accompany these brave warriors, Your Majesty. Please. Stop it! Huh? You should be serious for just one second. <laughs> Yes, Your Majesty. Oh my! This man got more sock accounts than than. <laughs> Watch this man got so many sock accounts. <laughs> All right, nice introduction to the game. Wait, hold up. I think nothing's wrong with Fortnite. Why'd you hide Fortnite fan? You just subscribed. Fortnite fan's cool. It's not a sock account. I don't think it is, at least. He subscribed to the Fortnite fan subscribed to the channel. Just calm down, guys. I don't know <laughs> where's all this coming from right now. I, I I freaking turn on Dragon Quest Heroes and all of a sudden all this stuff starts coming out of nowhere. Is, is it the same guy? It's all the same guy? <laughs> oh, my bad. Oh, well, he subscribed with his main account, so I think Fortnite fan is his main account. His sock accounts, you guys can ban those. But his main account is fine. He didn't, I mean, I don't think he said, what did he say to get banned originally? Okay, yeah, that guy, that guy definitely needs to be, uh, ba uh, banned. Yeah, this is the same guy that's coming, yeah, it's the same guy that, that's coming in. Yeah, we, we gotta, we gotta actually ban all of them, so, yeah. He's coming in here trolling and, uh, saying racist things. Definitely gotta ban him. Oh, uh, yeah, go ahead and, uh, go ahead and ban the Fortnite fan account, too, as well. Because, yeah, it's the same guy coming in here and just... With all of his sock accounts and trolling, so yeah, just go ahead and I keep banning him. It's all good. <clears throat> Charity, uh, try not to worry about all this other stuff that's going. On. It's just something that people deal with every now and then. Enjoy the enjoy the gameplay. You guys keep asking me questions about Mario Maker or E3. I'll be more than happy to answer questions and all that. Uh, so you guys keep asking me questions, and I'll be more than happy to answer them um, when it comes to stuff. Make a record of your adventure so far. Yeah. It's all good. It's all good. Right, time to set off for Accordia. To get there, we need to cross uh, Greena Pastures, which lies to the north of Harba. Yo, what's up, KG? Good to see you here, my man. Doka78, what's up, guys? Accordia, wow! I've never been, uh, never been before. I've seen the pinnacle of peace through they, uh, th though they say you can see it from anywhere in the world. Indeed, you can, and that's where we'll be meeting the High King. Uh, do try to be on your best behavior, won't you? Who me? Don't worry, royals love me. All right, let's get to the capital and have his radiance put an end to this war once and for all. By the way, when we get to Accordia, people might start calling me Lady Desmon is it uh, Desdemona, Desdemona, and saluting and things. 
Oh, we know. We've heard all the stories about Desdemona, the Red, the High Knight's most trusted knight and envoy. We're big fans. Uh, please not, uh, please not, you look as well. Look, we're going to be traveling together, so just playing Desdemona will be fine, okay? And what about you, too? Um, I know your cousins and that you're from both, uh, D D D is it Dun Dun Denicia? Denicia, originally, but what do I call you? Uh, no, I didn't get Rage 2 today because I didn't have time to go get it. Um, Teresa, and this is Lazarel, we're both training knights at the academy in Dunzia. Denicia, Denicia. Well, sort of. I spent the last year studying in Harba. Um, needed to get away from Miss Smarty Pants here. Heh. Azrael, don't call me that in front of Lady Des... I mean, Desmoni. Or Des... Is it Des... Demona. Desdemona. <laughs> I can see I'm going to have some fun with you two. Come on, then. Shall we get going? This game is the theme in... No! Dragon Quest Rivals uses the theme in this game, not the other way around. Ah, oh, breathe in that sweet air, and the weather's perfect too. Makes you wish we had time to lie down and soak up some sun. Soak up some bonks on the head, more like. The monsters around these parts are mischievous bunch. And besides, knights in training aren't supposed to spend their uh, days lazy around in sunny meadows. Come on, let's get moving. When traveling to the war zones where Pacific battles happen, you'll often go through open areas, otherwise known as wild zones. When moving around in wild zones, things will change depending on whether or not you're currently in battle. When monsters are nearby, you'll draw your weapons ready to fight. When they're further off, you'll put your weapons away. When you're in battle, only your MP will recharge, but out of battle, both HP and MP will be replenished. We got it. Well, let us go back. Drawing sheathing weapons. Characters will draw or sheath their weapon depending on the situation. Your weapons will be drawn if you perform any attacking actions or if monsters appear nearby. If you stop attacking for a short while or if monsters are no longer close, your weapons will be sheathed. Okay? Um, I wish I was in LA to E3. At least I'd still have the Yale Yale Peabody Museum in New Haven, CT, and I live next to Connecticut. All right, uh, you can run by pressing R2, but only when your melee weapons are sheathed. Uh, there are other actions such as changing equipment that can be performed with your weapons put away. Is there any way to pull the camera back a little bit? Why is it so close? Is that an option? Okay. Thank you. Jesus, why was it so close? Who wants to play with a camera like that? <laughs> it's like, all, you couldn't see anything. There was no field of view. Cotton top? I remember playing this on the Switch. Um, the demo. The Japanese demo. What's this strange crystal? I haven't seen one of these before. It's called the Zoom Stone. You can use the Zoom to travel to them. They've been around since, well, forever. Oh, I see. Zoom's that spell that lets you travel to far off places in the blink of an eye, isn't it? You need a Zoom Zoomethyst to cast it, right? Then we need to get one. That sounds like my kind of spell. I hate to break it to you, but Zoomethysts don't exactly grow on trees. I've only ever heard of kings and queens having them. Bah. What a letdown. And there I was thinking we'd be able to zip over to Accordia just like that. Haha, <laughs> well, don't give up just yet. You never know what uh, you might find. Tell you what, why not um, attune yourself to this zoom stone just uh, on the off chance you end up learning the spell one day. 
Hey, what's up, Paint Fat Purple? Yeah, we're playing your suggestion, dude. You'll sometimes find floating jewels called zoomstones out in the field. Press X to attune yourself to the zoomstone, and you'll be able to travel there instantly from anywhere by casting zoom. You're now attuned to the uh, attuned to the following zoomstones: Harba and Outlands. All right. That last long. It's a launcher. Yeah, it's a launcher. You can jump up. You're just slashing up these poor slimes that are just out here. Slash! I mean, MTY, what what is what is Astral Chain? What is Bayonetta 3 to you? Aren't these aren't these published by Nintendo? Those are both mature IPs, both published by Nintendo. I don't know why you're saying they should do something when they are doing it. Astral Chain coming out this year, Bayonetta 3 coming out. Bayonetta 3 coming out probably early next year. They published Bayonetta 1 and 2 on the Switch as well. I don't, I don't, I don't understand. Uh, somebody ban uh, FIFA 19 rules. Somebody can just go ahead and ban him. Bop. No, you said mature IPs. What does mature have to do with the realistic art style? Is Bayonetta's art style not realistic? Is it not realistic enough for you? I don't get it. Does that make the quality of the game better? You said mature IP, so rated M, right? That would be Bayonetta, that would be Astral Chain. I don't know if Astral Chain's rated M, it might be rated T. But I don't really see what the, I don't see, like, what do you mean? Like, you want a game where there's just a bunch of blood and people getting killed? Like, I don't, I don't get it. Like, what's the difference between Bayonetta and what you just said? Bayonetta's not a mature IP? Nintendo isn't published? You said Nintendo should publish and develop mature IPs. I mean, Devil May Cry or Resident Evil. Bayonetta is literally the same as Devil May Cry. I don't, I don't understand that. How, are, how is Devil May Cry or Resident Evil any different from Astral Chain or Bayonetta? How are those games any different? Wait, hold up. How are those? How is Devil May? Literally, Devil May Cry is like the same thing as Bayonetta. The same people made the game. How is Devil May Cry all of a sudden so much more mature than than Bayonetta? Wait a minute. How? <laughs> how? Bayonetta's art style isn't cartoony or anything. It's a, it's a realistic art style.
Not I'm interested. Bayonetta is not more of a cartoonish look. I don't know what Bayonetta game that you're playing, but Bayonetta does not have a car Bayonetta does not have a cartoon look. That is a that is false. <laughs> that is that is 100% false. Smash Brothers has a cartoonish look. Marvel Ultimate Alliance has a comic book cartoonish look. This game has an anime cartoonish look. Bayonetta does not have a cartoonish look. That is that is 100% false. <laughs> I don't know if you've never played Bayonetta or if you don't know if, if I don't think you've ever played it, but Ben nobody would describe Bayonetta's look as cartoonish. That is that is a hundred percent false. That's that's not even real. That's fake. <laughs> Do you journey to Accordia, friends? Then there is something I must tell you. Adult twink, twink, uh, twinged anime look. Uh, it has more. It's just a. It's the way that it's drawn, but it's not a cartoonish look. It doesn't look like. It doesn't look like this type of game, or it doesn't look like Arms or like Mario. Beta does not have that a cartoonish art style. That's ridiculous. I don't mean cartoons like Mario, but it's not. Let's say Resident Evil Seven. That's just the way that they're drawn, though, dude. Resident Evil, for example, it's more of like an art style that's like. Like zo it's like zombies, but with hu realistic looking humans. But Bayonetta has realistic looking humans as well too. Like Luca and like the the humans in the game look very realistic. If there is a human, they look very le realistic in the game compared to the demons. And the demons in Resident Evil don't look any more realistic or different from a potential demon or a nasty looking thing in Bayonetta. Like I disagree that the the art style is so much more mature or whatever in Resident Evil than Bayonetta. They both have demons, they both have a bunch of stuff. It's just the way that they're drawn is different, but Resident Evil doesn't have a more realistic art style than Bayonetta. They're just both different types of games. That's, that's, go, go, go look at Bayonetta. Have you played Bayonetta MTY 1993? Let me ask you that. Have you played Bayonetta? I fear that some hidden danger lies in wait. I hesitate to tread the road ahead. Perhaps uh, you should too. Resident Evil 7 isn't photorealistic either. <laughs> Resident Evil 7 is a but Resident Evil 7 isn't a photorealistic game either though. Bay Warriors, do you truly wish the graphics are just better in Resident Evil 7. The graphics are just, the system that it's on is just more capable than what than what Bayonet has been on. That's the only difference. Do you truly wish the wrist are onward? Yes. Well then I shall pray your safe arrival in Accordion. This is the final stretch of the road to Accordia. Not far now. I can't wait. I've always wanted to visit. Pinnacle of peace, here we come. Well, you said Bayonetta's cartoony, so I, I, I can't take your opinion seriously at this point anymore. But if, hey, agree to disagree. Seriously? You're planning on climbing it? Yeah! Something's coming this way, through the trees. But you couldn't have come at a better time. But I'm in a queer old people, so I am. You're in a war. The art styles are just different in those games. It's a different art style. The Wolfenstein is more about humans, Bayonet is more about demons. Seems you've picked up some unwanted admirers. You're literally changing your argument as you go along well, here, dude. Only one thing for it then. Let's give him the old brush off. First you said it was cartoonish. Once we said that's not true, then you said it was, uh, it's not photorealistic. Now you, you went from mature IPs to it's cartoonish, which is false, to photorealistic. You're just, you're constantly just changing what you're trying to say here, dude. So I'm not entertaining this anymore. Whatever you want to believe, go ahead. But whatever you're saying Nintendo's going to do, they ain't going to do it. So how about that? <laughs> so you're just you're literally just changing up everything you're saying like to, not to just suit your like I, I don't feel like discussing this anymore because that's that's just silly
This cartoony. Oh, it's not cartoony. Oh, I, it, more photorealistic. Resident Evil's not photorealistic either. Oh, well, it, it needs to be... It's just like, oh, but goodness gracious, come on. <laughs> and now you say, oh, it's not as realistic as Wolfenstein. They have different art styles. One of them's a demon slaying game with demons. The other one is a freaking shooting game with humans in there more. D different art styles, different focus. She's right. Look over there. I don't understand why Nintendo needs to. Why does Why does Nintendo need to make a game that looks like Wolfenstein? Why? What's the, What's the point? Is, are they better if they make a game that looks like Wolfenstein? Is it like all of a sudden now they're, they're a better company because they make Wolfenstein? I don't I don't understand the logic. Which gives us the element of surprise. Uh, I couldn't. I, I'm gonna get rage too. I don't know. I just don't know when. I couldn't go. I couldn't go get it in the morning though. So I was just busy. Ah. Yeah, but I'll, I'll definitely pick up Rage at some point. I just don't know when. Whenever I got time, I'll go pick it up. Yeah, and don't come back. That looks like the last of them. Sure, and I've not the words to thank you all. If I'd have been on me lonesome, I'd have been Benjax for certain. So tell us, Pickles, who are you anyway? What's all that rubbish on your back? But gotta forgive me, manners coached as I am. Tornicote to lose the name. Humble weapon merchant of Endertown. Yeah. Endor. That's not a place I've been to or heard of. I've never heard of it either. Hmm, so you've never heard of it at all at all. I'm starting to think my little hunch might be right. I've only gone and wandered into another blessed world, too busy seeking out that legendary weapon to notice so I was. When you say another world, you mean this one, right? So the place that you're from is somewhere completely different, is it? Sure, it is the only explanation I can think of. I love a good old adventure, see, and there's not a patch of grass in the whole wide world I've not trodden my foot upon. And yet here I find myself in fields of an altogether unfamiliar green. I was rooting around for a way back home in yonder woods when your lads there took a shine to me, little devils. Simple as that, eh? You ran into them and they ran after you. Uh, Wait a minute, Vim. If you don't know how you ended up here in the first place, you probably don't know how to get back to your own world either, right? No. It's Tornico, correct? Right. If I might make a suggestion, why not come with us to Accordia and see the High King? Huh? His radiance is one of the wisest men alive. Who knows? He may even be able to tell you how to get back to your world. And besides, Accordia is where all the best and rarest goods in the world change hands. You might even find your legendary weapon there. <laughs> Yeah, she's right. You're coming with us, Pickles. Indeed. Journey with us, good sir. You two. His name is not Pickles, it's Tornico. You can't just bully him into coming. He can decide for himself. Seriously, though. You should come with us. We can't just leave you stranded here. <laughs> oh, how's that for luck, eh? Landed square in the lap of the strongest, noblest, kindest band of heroes in this whole <laughs> new world. 
How could I possibly find it in me heart to refuse it? I gladly take it off its face. It's, 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 uh, people forget, people forget that video games are video games, not so photorealistic movies. Uh, it's not that, I think, I think I kind of see what he's trying to say. My, my only issue with what he's trying to say is that it's, it's not really Nintendo should create good games. It's Nintendo should create violent, looks like Wolfens, it looks like this because, because I want them to create that. It's not like, oh, Nintendo should create a game because it'd be better or it'd be like this gameplay mechanic. It's because I, I, I'm, I want hardcore. I want mature. Like it's that same, that logic. It's just that same type of stupid logic that people used to always say about Nintendo. And I just, I can't stand that. I can't stand that type of logic, to be honest. It's like... What gameplay mechanics? What's the new thing that they're gonna create? It's like, no, I want an art style. I want, I want, I want human shooting each other, or I want, like, you know, it's like, well, what are they gonna do new? What's, what's the point? You know what I'm saying? Like, Wolfenstein is already on the Switch. What's the point of creating a game that looks like Wolfenstein? You know what I'm saying? Or what's the point of creating this art style that's like this game when they already got mature IPs that you just said? Oh well, those aren't good enough. They need to create these type of mature games, like, or it looks like this type of game, and it's just like. Why? What's what's the point? What's the new gameplay mechanics? What's going to be the the benefit over already over what they're doing or what they're already getting on the system? There's nothing. It's just because mature, mature, or hardcore. You know, like oh, PS4, Xbox One, which is just I can't. I, I'm not a big fan of that logic, to be honest. It's like should Sony create more games that look like Mario? Then should they create games that look like Astral Chain or look like Bayonetta? Why does nobody says that? You know, but it's always the other way around. That's that's the issue that I have. That's it. Um, how come uh, you use gravitating or gravitating, galvitating off this Accordia place anyway? Uh, well, two of the kingdoms are um, of our world, Harba and Denicia, um, and are on the verge of all-out war. So we're on a way to ask the High King if he can help us stop things uh, getting out of hand. Sure, and you've a far more important mission to be getting on with than helping out the likes of me. Yeah, definitely a sock account. That's my only issue. Like I said, it's not it's nothing I mean if, if you like if if you want Nintendo to create a game just like that just because, then that's fine. But like to me I'm more about okay, well, why? What's the gameplay mechanics? What's the new things? What are they gonna bring to the table that all the other games that are already like that don't bring to the table? You know, because you said Devil May Cry, but Bayonetta and Devil May Cry literally have a very similar art style and very similar way of playing the game. So, what's the point, you know? That's it. They need to attract more hardcore gamers. I don't think that attracts more hardcore gamers. Nintendo's already selling more than what Microsoft and Sony does in a lot of times. So I don't understand how that's gonna attract more people than they're already attracting. In my opinion, how do they sell more than they're already selling? They're already at the top. They're already at the top of the MPD. They're already selling the most in Japan. They're already selling a lot more than what they've sold before. So you're, you're saying they need to attract this, but based off of what sales numbers? What are you basing it off of? Are they having problems selling the system? Is the system not selling as much as it should? Like, what is? Where is the basis of this? How do you know hardcore gamers aren't already buying the system? What's the? What's the thought process? What's the what's the facts behind this? I want to know. If you got facts or numbers, or if you got actual data that says that not enough hardcore gamers are buying Switch, I'd love to hear it. Stream quality is excellent. Okay, good. Thank you. Well, look at all these enemies out here in the field. You gotta level up a bit. Oh, I got interrupted. Oh, God. Getting punched. Getting force palmed. I know, but you're saying that they need to attract more hardcore gamers. So, are you trying to tell me that is there facts or data that hardcore gamers aren't already buying the system for games like Bayonetta, games like Hyrule Warriors, games like Mario, games like Zelda, Breath of the Wild? Are you telling me that casuals are buying these games? Because those are the games that are still selling really well. Like, are you telling me that only hardcore gamers don't buy, don't like Zelda, they don't like 
Bayonetta, they don't like Astral Chain, they don't like games like this, and they only like games that are mature rated? Is that what you're trying to tell me? It's like, I just want to know where the data or the facts is of where you're coming from. Like I said, if you've got that, then let me know, because obviously I'm, I'm missing out on something. I'm looking at the sales of the Switch, I'm looking at the data that I'm seeing, um, I'm looking at what people are saying online, and it seems like plenty of hardcore gamers are buying the Switch. So you're saying they need to attract more, but they're already selling the most pretty much worldwide. So I want to know where, where this is coming from. Said a lot of gamers still, still see Nintendo's kitty. That's my reasoning for the whole argument. Well, where's the facts on that, though? You said a lot of gamers are still seeing Nintendo's kitty. Is that based off of what? Some YouTube comments? It's not based off of sales. So what's it based off of? And is that affected? When what you're saying is that affecting their sales? Because they're still selling more than the Xbox One, and they're selling more than the PlayStation in Japan, and they're beating Nintendo or they're beating the PS4 here in the West. So who's buying? Who's buying the system? That's what I'm. That's what I'm asking you. You're telling me that these, these online people are saying things, but like, who's buying the system? Is it all just casuals and non-hardcore gamers? Where where are all these sales coming from? So that's what I that's what I want to know because like, who's buying the Switch right now? Is it not hardcore gamers? Who who? Who's buying the system? Is it all casuals? Is it all children? Why is the system selling so much? Why are games like Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, why are games, you know what I'm saying, like these, these core games, why are these games selling so much? Smash Brothers, stuff like that. Like, are the core gamers not buying this? Are this not attracting core gamers? It's a good. Dis it's a good discussion to have. It's, I, I like having discussions like this. All right, I think we've we fought around here for a while now. You're, okay, but you're seeing that in comments. But are you actually? I mean, anybody can say anything online. What about the facts, though, MTY? What about the facts? They're saying they're not going to buy it because it's a kid's console, but the facts say differently. The facts say that lots of people are buying the Switch, and it's selling plenty to core gamers. That's what the facts are saying. So... Why aren't you looking at actual sales numbers? You're saying, oh, well, th these people are saying this online, but what about the actual sales numbers of the system? Why aren't you looking at that? I don't understand why you're looking at comments over actual sales numbers. That's all I'm asking. Like, I, I just want to know your, your viewpoint. Because anybody can say anything online. I can say any. I can say, I can say, man, I'll never buy an Xbox One. Even though I can lie and literally have an Xbox One. I can say whatever I want. And people, most people, if you don't know me, then, then you wouldn't know. You see, uh, my issue is why are people worrying about what others think? And it doesn't matter at the end of the day, just play games. Yeah, that's another thing. Like... What does it matter? But I mean, I think it's a good, I mean, it's, a, it's not a bad discussion to have. Okay, good, we leveled up. I wanted one more level before we moved on. Um, I don't understand, like, why are you letting somebody, what somebody else thinks to shape, shape your opinion and not actually look at facts that are going on. You know, you're saying it, it's not based on what you think, it's based on what you're hearing other people say. It's like, well, why are you worrying about what other people are saying? You know? Why aren't you just worrying about yourself and what you think? Oh, I got it. There's a treasure chest. Okay. But yeah, I agree with Party Man. Too many people are worried about what other people think. Like, especially online. It's like, why are you worried about that? Like, <laughs> it's stupid. What does it matter? Like, is that going to make all of a sudden the system be better? Because there's a game that looks like Wolfenstein? Is all of a sudden now it's like, oh, that, that makes the, everyone's going to buy the Switch now? You know? Well, he's not talking about just... He's talking about Nintendo needs to make these games themselves. Even though there's plenty of mature-rated, 
I mean, Sony's the Sony's the the the, the, the company censoring games, not Nintendo. So developers that are putting their games, there's mature rated games on there, or whatever the case is. But he's saying Nintendo needs to make these games. And when I give him the example of Bayonetta and Astral Chain, he said those aren't good enough. And then he started deviating into a bunch of other things like photorealism and uh, and Bayonetta has a cartoony art style, even though it doesn't, you know. But he started deviating into other things when he couldn't necessarily keep up with what he was trying to say, you know. Um, that's strange. What's what's a bear doing um, all this way out here? Monsters um, make these, uh, don't they? Uh, you have to beat the monster that made it to make it go away, right? Someone's been paying attention in class. Still, I don't see any uh, culprits around. Uh, let's leave it for now and head to Accordia. Okay. No, he wants Nintendo to create games that look like other third-party games. But Nintendo's already creating games like Ast or getting people to create games like Astral Chain or, uh, like you know, he said Devil May. He he listed Devil May Cry and Resident Evil Four, but like. Bayonetta literally has the same art style as Devil May Cry. They're very similar, you know? Um, but then he then he went on to say that, well, that's a cartoon. He said that Bayonetta has a cartoony art style, but Bayonetta doesn't have a cartoony art style. Oh, I know you say that they're not good enough. I said that you're not they're not good enough to satisfy what you wanted Nintendo to do, which you did admit that. I didn't say that you didn't say that they're not good enough games in terms of the quality of the game. I'm saying that they're not good enough in terms of what you felt would be mature IPs. You said that you said that yourself. And then you also claimed that Bayonet is cartoony. So it wasn't even like what you were saying in the first place. So that's what I was talking about. Not that they weren't not that you said that they weren't good enough quality of games in general. All right, so we need to head. We need to head over. Where is this? Where is this boss? Or where is that that uh, monster? Let's head over and beat him. Oh my gosh, time flies! Wow. Okay, that's back to the beginning of the game. Okay. So yeah, no, it's a good, it, like I said, it's a good conversation to have. There's nothing wrong with expressing your your opinion. You know? I just disagree. That's it. Uh, a lot of people like to... A lot of people like to worry about what other people are thinking, which is fine at the end of the day. Oh, there's the... Is that the enemy over there? Okay, so I guess the enemy is somewhere over here then. Yeah, my problem is that there's no there's no real facts to back it up outside of perception of some of some people online. You know? That's my only issue. But hey. I would I don't think the switch would be selling as much as it was if it was just if, it, if hardcore gamers weren't buying it in large droves. I don't think I don't think the switch would be anywhere near the amount of sales it is. You know? Alright, we gotta gotta find that oh here we go what, what, the, what the heck am i doing it's right over here mm. for some people it's there for some people it died you know i think for most people games like bayonetta and games like astral chain switch getting games like wolfenstein 2 it's getting games like skyrim it's getting doom i think that's enough for a lot of people i, th I don't think that there's really anything else that nintendo needs to do i don't know why they, they would need to do it you know, themselves, or create a game that's like this game just because, you know? What if it sucks? Then what? Then what do you do? And yeah, and it got Mortal Kombat, so I mean, I don't I don't understand this whole logic, but hey, like I said, once again, it is what it is. Uh, here we are, at last. Uh, welcome to Accordia. Wow, this, um, this is the capital. It's even more amazing than I imagined. It really is a city fit for a high king. Speaking of which, we need to hurry up and meet him so we can get things sorted. Come on, let's get this show on the road. Not so fast. Um, you can't just stroll in and say hello. You know, I'll need to arrange us an audience with him. I'll probably take a while to sort out. Why don't you have a look around town while we wait? 
Uh, you don't have to tell me twice. I'm capping um, at the bit to... I'm champing. Champing at the bit to see what bargains I can get my hands on. I'll be back just as soon as I uh, rinse this town for everything. It's worth it. <laughs> toodle, toodle, ooh, for now. Saints Row 3, Rico, and so many more M-rated games. Yeah, there, there's a ton. I don't, I don't, like I said, I don't see what the issue is. Ha, huh, keen to take a look around uh, myself. Let's start by uh, letting uh, that priestess over there know what we've been up to, shall we? But he was talking about Nintendo themselves making the games, which, once again, I don't... He went on to mention a bunch of third-party games, you know, that are on other systems, yet Nintendo has mature-rated third-party games, but apparently those aren't good enough, you know? Like, Nintendo has to make them, but he's mentioning other third-party games, you know, for other systems, so I don't, I don't get it, but hey, like I said, it's an opinion, it's fine. Uh, let me know when you finish seeing the sites. Um, I expect we'll have our audience booked by then. Alright. Mallet weapon. Oh, I got a goodie bag. Have you spoken with the clerk, uh, the clerk of works yet? She's my sister. You know, but people say there's no resemblance at all. Oh, this is the quest count. I'm afraid I don't have any quests for you right now. I'm sure you'll have some come back soon. Slime Night Shield? Ooh. Gem Slime Sword? More gold uh, nuglets from slimes? Attack 12? Hit metal slimes more easily? Ooh. A nice sword. Look at that sword, dude. Oh, a buckler below the goo ridden gladiators. Nice. Do I have all these heroes in my. in my, uh. I guess I'm gonna get them soon, or at some point I'll get them. Or I can switch them out? Online only? So is Dragon Quest Heroes like a spin-off the story of Dragon Quest, or is it a standalone game? It's a it's a standalone game. But it's obviously using drag. It uses the. It, it, it has its own self con contained story and all that. But it uses the Dragon Quest. So it's more of a spin off. It's not, the, it's not a main Dragon Quest game, no. It's a different style of Dragon Quest game. Hmm. The establishment is closed. Alright, so. Um, man, time flies when you're having fun. Um, so I've got to end this stream right here because we got to come back for PE Live in about an hour. I got to take a little bit of a break today because I've been streaming since one. So I am going to take a little bit of a break, guys. Um, and I will be back in about one hour for PE Live, the nightcap. So if you want to come through, uh, talk about some stuff. We'll talk about some other things and, uh, we'll talk about some different gaming. I'll give you guys maybe some more impressions of Dragon Quest Heroes. But so far, I'm liking the game. Um, real quick, Paint Fat Purple. Um, how do I save? Is there like a, can I, can I, can I, um, op, can I manually save in this game? Paint that purple, because I know you've played the game, so how do you save? Does anybody know? Nobody's going to tell me how to save in the game. Okay. I know there's an auto-save feature, but is there like a... Like a manual save feature? Literally, everyone's just leaving and not telling me. I think Paint Fat Purple left. He left before he can tell me how to save. I'm Googling... I guess I can Google it too.
I know there's a manual save in the game. Or there's a, sorry, there, I, I know there's a... There is an auto save in the game. Let's go to a priest. Whoa, whoa, what are you, why are you hiding him for? What are you guys, what are you guys doing? He didn't say anything wrong. You guys are timing him out and stuff. Why do you, why, why are you guys timing, what, what are you? He said he must go to a, a nun or a priest, okay. Whoa, what was all that about, guys? I'm sorry, uh, positive waves, I'm sorry, dude. You got timed out and you got banned for a second for no reason. All right, so um, I'll f I'll figure it out. Oh. Yeah, it was an accident. It was an accident. All right, guys, I'll figure it out, and we'll be back with more. Um, and uh, <laughs> I'll be back with more Dragon Quest. And like I said, we're gonna have a PE live at around five thirty my time. So in about an hour or so, we're gonna have a PE live nightcap. Okay, guys. All right, thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. We'll see you guys for the next one. Peace.